What's going on, guys? Welcome back to day two of the Netflix challenge. God damn, guys. God damn. We are going insane with the engagement, with the support that everyone has inside the community. Are you guys ready to build Netflix? Drop a comment. Let us know right now. We're going to go ahead and pull up the chat right now let's see what everyone's saying guys i don't know if my chat's freezing or if it's literally just like it's just so many so much going on right now i don't think my chat can keep up with it on the screen that's why it's not showing wow oh here we go there we go everyone's coming in check it out guys there we go look at that look at the hype guys smash the thumbs up button if you're excited for today we have literally got 200 people watching right now and i'm sure we're gonna have a hell of a lot more people joining yesterday we had 750 people and it is just going insane guys insane today we are gonna go ahead and build netflix guys so i'm gonna show you what we're gonna build today let's go have a look check it out guys we today are gonna have the Netflix build. Everything is gonna be working flawlessly. Don't know why the Netflix logo is not popping up, but we'll fix it. You know how we do. Thank you, Jessica Gross, for the $5 donation. Amazing stuff. We're gonna be building this amazing build right here, guys. No idea why that didn't come up, but we'll fix it. It's all good. <laughs> but you guys can see over here, we have the beautiful UI. All right, we have the little nice floating dashboard at the top right we have the nice little header and nav bar everything is going to be built flawlessly and guys we just hit 300 viewers that's what i'm talking about let's go guys look at the chat it's insane wow guys you have been incredible the engagement the support that everyone's giving each other inside the chat i cannot get over and express how amazing you all have been and the papa fam this is what we're about this is what the whole challenge is about. It's about bettering yourself and becoming the best developer you can possibly become. And that means being a good person and helping the community out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. Are you guys ready to get started for today's event? Let's start day two officially, guys. Drop it in the chat if you're excited. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and kickstart the event off, right? Let's go ahead and do this, guys. I'm damn excited to start this event, honestly. Right. Let's get started, guys. First off, welcome to day two of the challenge. All right, welcome to day two, guys. Let's go ahead and remember, guys, I want your full attention, right? I want your full attention. If you guys haven't noticed, by the way, the lighting is a lot more better today. We've upgraded the lighting a little bit, right? Nearly 400 people watching right now. That's what I'm talking about, guys. If you haven't already, smash the thumbs up button. That's what we're talking about, right? Let's go ahead and jump in. So it's time to focus, guys. I want everyone's game face on no messing around it's focus time okay guys welcome to day two of the netflix react js challenge where we build the front end we have a bunch of fun with some apis the tmdb api to be precise and we're going to be doing it with redux as well right so loads of cool stuff to happen today so like i said we have what's up gabriel just dropping the five dollar donation thank you so much dude appreciate you man so guys we are literally going to be doing this today. I hope you're excited. The agenda, right? Let's break it down. We're going to start off by checking out some of the best resume submissions for day one, right? Then we're going to go ahead and build the entire front end for the Netflix clone, right? So everything I showed you, remember, not the login, not the payment stuff. We're going to build the actual Netflix app, okay? And we're going to be incorporating the TMDB movie API into the Netflix build, pulling that movie information into the project, and we're going to get started with it, okay? So everything is going to be insane, right? Guys, remember, if you have not already, right, you need to go ahead and register to the event, right? If you want to win the £7,000 worth of prizes, you need to have registered to this event at papareact.com forward slash Netflix challenge. If you have, you're all sweet. Don't worry about it. If you haven't, then honestly, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and make sure you're signed up so that way you have the best chance at winning that prize, okay? You have to go and make sure you do that. Now, guys, just to let you know, if you're looking for these links and you want to find them, the link to the registration page is link number one in the description, right? So there's numbers by the links in, in the sort of the middle of the description. It's number one, right? Now, let's go ahead and carry on. 
we have the five day challenge Facebook group. Okay. Again, to be a part of this challenge, you have to join the Facebook group. Now I'm constantly going ahead and updating and accepting invites. And now we have over, I think it's 750 members inside that group, which is insane. And we have thousands of registered up to this event, right? So there's some of you who aren't signing up to the Facebook group. Make sure you are because then you get entered for that prize pool. And I want you guys to go ahead and win a prize, okay? So that's what we want to do. Guys, just want to say, start off with a bit of positivity. Thank you so much for the love and support. We've had so many amazing messages from all of you guys. And literally, like, uh, I, I, I read these. I just want to show you guys that I read it. I appreciate everything that you have. If you can see your name here, then go ahead and shout out, all right? Some of these are from before, but I just wanted to go ahead and just show you guys that, you know, I do read your comments. I'm always listening and this is what we're about. Thank you so much, Daniel, for the five pound donation. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. 400 viewers live right now. That's what we're talking about, guys. That's exactly what we want. That is what we're talking about. Right. Prizes. Let's quickly go over them, right? First place, you can win a diamond membership. That's a, that's a damn good win, guys. And second place, three platinum memberships. Third place, 10 sets of 50% off coupons, okay? And guys, if you haven't, if you don't even win this, I have another big surprise for day five, right? There's a huge surprise for day five. I'm going to cover that in just a sec, okay? So, like I said, on Facebook, if you go to the events tab, go ahead and you'll see a breakdown of all of the events. Thank you, Kalyon Sapchev, for the donation. I think that's Bulgarian. I think that's BGN, Bulgarian. I don't know. I think, well, I'm think i not sure what that is. Um, but guys, yeah, you have the schedule inside of the events section on Facebook, okay? So you're going to have day one to five and the links inside of each one, right? You're also going to get nice little notifications every time I go live. So it's a lot easier to go ahead and get involved inside that group right guys remember to be a part of this challenge and to win that prize it doesn't even matter if you don't win you need if you want to get the bonus which is going to be for everyone by the way so everyone in this challenge is a winner all you need to do is sign up to the last day surprise reveal so for day five is not going to be on youtube it's going to be elsewhere and you need to sign up for that event to get access to it right so that is link number two in the description okay link number two in the description simply go ahead and sign up to it and you guys can be a part of that fun. So you just need to go to the website, click save my spot, and that's it. It's very simple, very easy. Most of you actually did do it yesterday, so I'm impressed. I'm impressed, right? Quick overview of the point system. Guys, you guys are going crazy. Uh, the amount of points, me and Jay have been trying to rattle our brains, trying to get the points scored up and everything. It's so tough to get this, this working. Thank you again, Salcap, for the donation. Appreciate you, dude. So contest, right? Let's talk about the contestants and how you can score a point inside this tournament, right? Number one. Right, if you're going to earn one point, you send a message to the Facebook group, community, YouTube, Instagram, anything. As long as you engage, you get a point, right? Two points, sharing any sort of social media platform, right? So tag me inside the social media platform. You guys might have seen it in my Instagram. I'm sharing loads of stuff over on that side, okay? So we have all that goodness over there. We have 450 people live right now. Let's keep growing, guys. Three points if you helped with someone else's homework. And guys, I just want to say the support you're giving to everyone, incredible inside that Facebook community, right? So many people I saw NPM install, NPM install. Guys, NPM install. And I was thought it was amazing because you guys are helping each other out and you're overcoming the problems. Guys, we're just about to break 300 likes as well. Thank you, guys. All right. Four points, refer someone. Five points, every piece of homework. So a lot of you guys got that five points, all right? So... Remember, share on the socials to go ahead and get the bonus points. If you haven't already, go ahead, shoot a story, tag me in it. Thank you. And it helps spread the love, right? Oh, we just got a lovely another donation. I can't pronounce the name. I think it's Mandarin, but thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. All right. This is my Instagram handle. Go ahead, share it and tag us on your stories. Okay. If you haven't already joined the Discord channel, it's actually 2,500 people right now. So crazy stuff is growing so damn fast. Okay. So damn fast. Now. Here's the challenge. Here's the fun stuff. This is what you're here for, right? The main event, the challenge. Now, what we're doing today in particular, right? What is actually going to be happening today? We're going to be building the app, right? The actual app, right? So you can see I've highlighted the bit that we're building. So the entire app is this. We're going to build all of this by the end of the five days. And here we're going to be building the actual Netflix app with Redux. Okay, so we're going to have Redux powering this entire thing. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, okay? And you are going to have to submit this as your homework. So guys, think of this as a five day hackathon okay this is your first hackathon if you've not been in one let's do this together as the papa fam right right so we're going to be building this beautiful app today 
right? Now, let's go over yesterday's homework because you guys absolutely killed it, right? I love the submissions that came in yesterday. Absolute crazy stuff from all of you. And uh, yeah, I just want to go through. The homework yesterday was to go ahead and follow the following steps. And you had to go ahead and remember, you had to post it to Facebook as well and upload it using the homework submission. And most of you did it. I couldn't believe it. We have over 400 submissions. Me and Jay were watching it. We're like, what? the hell happened right everyone came in done their homework and it looks so damn good right remember if you haven't submitted your homework it's never too late guys this is not a win or lose situation right remember this is all to better yourself as a developer there are no losers here everyone just by turning up today you're already a winner come on guys you've got this keep positive we're gonna keep we're gonna kill this together right so they actually changed this yesterday it's no longer in the units it's called guides right now if you want to submit your homework go into guides inside the facebook group or it's the, simply the first link in the description of day one video if you want the homework for today the link is in the description uh, but you know stay till the end and i'll explain the homework okay so you all killed it on day one with the challenge homework we received over 450 submissions okay so you guys can see right here this is actually a <laughs> this is literally a list of how we collect everything and it's insane like you might recognize some of your names i blurred out the actual name uh, email so that way nobody gets spammed but yeah absolutely crazy crazy stuff guys so let's go ahead and have some of the highlights if you see yourself give yourself a shout out guys this is all for you shake killed it look at the background clean as anything adrian he had a custom portfolio i love that one i remember i saw that ajmal this one was clean look at that laptop guys nice little color scheme going on partap right this one was actually i think it was a video behind it looked really really sweet right we had varan what's up based in india and look at that color colorful rainbow love the little glass morphic effect that he has going on behind that right our pit thank you so much guys thank you and look we got more samuel look at the nice little background right he's got a bit of pop of color in there we got scissor right check out his graduation guys look at that look fresh he's just he's flexing man killing it kelvin i love this one kelvin this is clean look how nice and aesthetically pleasing that picture is guys on kelvin's right it looks so goddamn clean then we've got luke coming in i actually really really like this one there was something about the blue that just popped it looked so good guys it looked really really good then we had lee i don't know what it was about lee mcfarland's but dude it's like a canvas it's just so as a front end dev this is just cool he goes like lee mcfarland i like to make pretty things i love it the, sometimes simplicity is so powerful okay so absolutely insane all right, we've got a few more. Sam, you killed it, man. I loved it. Sam had like a 3D background in there. We had Nico, had very minimalistic design, looked really good. Robert, I love this one because look how nice the colors pop here. All right, he's got a little slight overlay on that background. It looks super, super clean, All right? Debashis, this was clean as well. Again, I like the, the use of overlays so that way the text is easier to read. Really, really clean stuff. And we have David coming in clutch with the coding background. I was waiting for someone to drop a coding background. I love it, David. Amazing, amazing stuff, right? So some of you are insane. You have some notable mentions that I do want to mention, right? You guys have absolutely killed it. We have 500 viewers today. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. This number just keeps on growing. Let's get it higher. Let's keep on getting it higher. Smash the thumbs up button if you're excited. But I'm going to go ahead and drop some bonus points for some of you today. So let's get excited for that, guys. Notable mentions, right? Let's go through. Number one, we had Neat Mangat, right? And now this guy actually messaged me on Instagram and we're gonna open up his portfolio right now and have a look at it. Check this portfolio out, guys. How sick is this, right? It's literally a video game. You click start game, you select your player, you click it and look, you're inside the, the level select screen, right? Let's go ahead and click about. Damn, look how sick that looks. I think this guy has absolutely he gets he gets the number one spot honestly in terms of portfolio you go to projects and look at this you can click it down how clean is that imagine how much you're showing without saying it here like you don't have to say i'm good at css look at this thing it looks it looks so cool it's got a retro feel to it it's even got nice little animations look at the cursor actually changes so amazing stuff neat you actually get six bonus points on top of the five for submitting the homework amazing stuff sam you made it dude you made it i loved your one because of the animations in the background this was dope man look at this beautiful the animation in the background i love this effect that some of you guys have added and you guys can see very slick he's filled everything out for me it was this lovely animation in the background this was so cool and a few people actually added this in but looks really really clean so we had sam we had komala kanapan an absolutely amazing profile check this one out guys look 
Nice, little bit of a, uh, you got that same effect. I just think it's so clean. I think it looks so clean, right? Kamala absolutely smashed it. She's doing amazing. And guys, it's lovely to see both guys and girls killing it in this challenge, right? Really, really nice to see that. And again, sometimes look, she's added the effect just in the bottom right hand corner. Looks so, so clean, right? Let's go ahead and check it out. Lee McFarland, you made it, dude. And this is the one that I was talking about, guys. It's just got that minimalistic feel. I'm right. not sure this is actually loading, loading. We're going to give it a second and okay. Maybe this one hasn't deployed properly, but I did load this up on it not long ago, but Lee McFarlane killed it. Brett Moenda absolutely smashed it. Let's open it up and have a look while wow, that's loading. Oh, maybe some of them take a little bit longer to, to go ahead and load. Giovanni, let's load up Giovanni in the meantime. Look at this, this one smashed it guys. Look at this 3D effect, wow. How clean is that? The only advice I would have here is to go ahead and add in your projects. I was so keen to see your projects after I saw this. I was like, wow, like she's killed it. Like uh, he, she, I'm not sure who it is with him, but Giovanni but absolutely smashed it guys. Absolutely smashed it. Okay. So, so clean. All right. So you guys all get six bonus points towards that final challenge. And uh, yeah, well done guys. I just want to say well done. And also guys, everyone who submitted, we had 450 plus submissions every single one of you honestly i clicked through all of them with jay like we sat here on a zoom call went through everything it, honestly i'm proud of every single one who submitted this thing right and they're still coming in today like i'm still getting submissions and we will promise you we'll keep on checking these submissions okay let's keep going guys right so remember to get those final points right you need to go ahead sign up to that final day webinar right final day webinar otherwise it's not gonna count nothing what is all the work for right if you're gonna get that challenge you guys deserve it okay so go ahead sign up to that challenge and you guys can do it and we have a huge surprise on day five and this is just a little hint okay huge huge surprise i'm dropping for all of you on day five it's gonna be big it's gonna be so damn big so be there do not miss that event out. That is number two inside the description. That is link number two inside the description. Please go and sign it up. Without further ado, I think we should go ahead and build this app. All right? We have 500 people who are watching right now. I think it's time we go ahead and kill it. We're going to build the Netflix app. Are you guys ready for this? Let's do it. All right. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and open out the terminal okay right? but before we get started with that i just want i do want to just mention guys i am so damn proud of everyone inside the papa fam today because you guys have actually exceeded my expectations you guys came in i set homework and you just delivered guys so i want to see keep that energy keep that level of hype and let's build the netflix app let's do this guys okay right so we're going to go ahead and i'm actually going to put on one of my one of my more favorite songs all right let's go ahead and chuck on some 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 upbeat stuff right so we're going to open this up all right let's check it out so let's do this guys get your get your coffee get your water i've got three bottles of water over here you know like dial in get ready for this right 500 people right now we're gonna we're gonna pair program as a big team right we're using redux so the first thing we're gonna do right cd into a place that we want to put our stuff so i'm gonna put mine inside of my build folder and then I'm going to go ahead and say MPX, create React app. Okay, so create React app. This is, a, this is a tool given to us to allow us to set up an app, right? So we need to give it a name. Here we're going to say Netflix build, and let's just say YouTube, right? It's because I'm doing it for the YouTube, right? So create React app. It's a, it's a very powerful command line tool, right? And it allows us to go ahead and set up a React app very simply just from the command line, okay? So we're going to run this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say dash dash template, right? Dash dash template. And then after that, we're gonna type in Redux, okay? So this command is extremely important. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna set up a app called Netflix Build YouTube with a template, and it's gonna be the Redux template, okay? So we need to do this, okay? So go ahead, hit enter, and this will start setting up your app. In the meantime, what I want you to do, open up Chrome. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up Chrome, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop in to Firebase. So let's go to Firebase. And then once you're over on Firebase, you wanna make sure you're in your correct account. So I'm gonna go into my team account. Does this work on Windows? Yes, it is going to be on Windows. Do not worry. All right, let's go. Go ahead and go to console at the top, right? And then what I want you to do is go ahead and add a project, okay? So here you wanna type in Netflix, build, 
or clone where Okay, we're back. My mic seemed to have cut. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're back. You're going to type in Netflix clone YouTube. Okay, Netflix clone YouTube. Now what we want to do is we're going to go over to continue. Okay, perfect. We're going to go over to continue. And then for the analytics, we're going to hit no. Okay, so in this case, I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm not really too fussed with the uh, with the, the analytics first one. But if you want them, go ahead and do that. Okay, so you want to go ahead and create it. Now, while this is loading, we're going to go ahead and go to our desktop, right? We're going to go back over here and see it's still in, it's still setting up the template. Okay. So this, some, this can take some time sometimes. So just give it, you know, be a bit patient and it doesn't matter by the way, if you're using yarn or NPM, it's going to work. Okay. But make sure whatever you're using, you stick with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and say CD into our, the app that we just built. Okay. So CD build YouTube. Nice. Going to go inside. Now what you're going to do is type in, so I'm using code insiders, but if you want to use the, all you need to do is download VS code. So you remember, as I said, guys, VS code, right? And once you're inside of VS code, you go ahead and set up a code extension. I'll show you how to do it. But what you can do is then you can go ahead and say code dot. Yours is just going to be code dot minus code insiders dot. So we're going to open this up. All right now, if you don't have that code insiders or, or if you don't have code dot, then all you need to do is command shift P and then type in install and then you for you it would say install code insiders command in path okay so you need to do that and then that will give you the ability to open things up just like i have right here okay once we're at this point what we're going to do is go ahead and check out the file structure so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you guys so you guys can see what's going on okay so i'm going to close this out this should be pretty good for you guys to see right now Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and head back over to our Firebase project. We're going to click continue and then we're going to go ahead and move this over. So make our workspace quite neat. Nice. Then over here at the top, we're going to click this cog icon. Click on project settings at the top. Okay, perfect. Go down here. Go ahead. And this is where we go ahead and get the credentials for our application. Okay, we're going to click it. Then it says register your app. So over here, all we need to do is type in Netflix, Netflix. And I'm going to type in Netflix clone YouTube. Set up Firebase hosting. Yes, because we want to deploy this app afterwards. Then we want to click on register the app. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is click next. We don't need to care about this for this one. You do need to run this, but you're probably going to have to write sudo in front of this. You'd write sudo npm install dash G Firebase tools. Okay, and that's going to allow you to install the Firebase tools into the CLI. Okay, click continue and then we'll do these steps afterwards. You're going to click on continue to console and go ahead and click con config. Perfect, right? Still have 500 viewers. This is incredible, guys. Let's keep going. All right, almost at 400 likes, right? So now what we're going to do is copy this config. Copy it, go back to our code. I'm going to go next to app.js and I'm going to click the little plus icon and I'm going to type in Firebase dot js perfect i'm going to go ahead and paste in that config and we're going to use that later on all right so we're going to use that later on the next thing we're going to do right is at that point we can we can pause there for the firebase stuff we're going to come back here and there's a few things we want to do we want to delete app.test.js delete logo.svg and we want to delete setup tests.js. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete those files. Now, hopefully my computer doesn't freeze. It always has a way of freezing when this happens. So for me, I get this little spinner. So we're going to give it just a sec while it goes ahead and cleans itself up. Okay. So it's probably going to freeze up here. But in the meantime, what we're going to do, go ahead and go over to Cloud Firestore on the left-hand side. Click it. And we're going to be using the database at some point. So I'll go ahead and show you what's happening. Actually, we're not going to we just go ahead and click on authentication. Sorry, authentication. And we're going to enable our authentication while we wait for VS code to get started. I'm going to click on get started over here. And then over at this point, what you want to do is type on the click on the email and password setting. And then click on enable. Right. And then save. So now we've enabled email and password 
um, authentication inside of our project, right? So this again, I'm stuck on the loading screen of death. Inside, guys, if you got, has anyone got any questions while we reach this point, right? While my computer loads up, let's go ahead and see. Has anyone got any questions, right? And remember, guys, I just want to shout out and say, if if you get stuck at any point, do not lose hope. Join the Facebook group and guys, help each other out. That's what we're here for. That's what the Papa Firm is about. So all you need to do is help each other out, okay? And it will make things a hell of a lot easier, right? So we're just going to wait a sec and have a look. Okay, so again, it's frozen. But I mean, we'll, we'll give it a second and it will work. So Pizzo Poser, I've oh, just finished my homework. Nice, dude. That's amazing stuff. Well done, man. Right. What to do if I run out of Firebase projects? I would recommend the easiest thing to do is you can request additional projects, but I would say go ahead and just use a different email for now. I mean, it, while, while you're watching live, it's probably the quicker way to do it. Okay. So we're still waiting on this. I mean, I will get a pop up in just a sec and then it will let me get through, but we have to wait for this. Otherwise, we just can't continue. Right? It's so frustrating. I, have to, I don't know why. Does anyone else's Mac do that? Right? It's super, super frustrating. Right. But in the meantime, what we can do is let's go ahead and have a look at what we're going to be using for today's build. Okay. So we need to go to IMDB, IM, no, TMDB, sorry, TMDB. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to be using to go ahead and get the film information for our Netflix build. Okay. Ben says, man. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. Okay. So a little bit of tech issues today, but we'll get through it. Okay. So I'm going to wait until this loads out. I'm going to wait until this, has, this loads out. Come on, guys. Why is this not freezing? Okay. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. All right. So why am I have to force that to restart itself, to be fair? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and force that to restart. My VS Code is just freaking out today. I guess it can't handle it. So I'm going to go ahead and force quit VS Code. And then... Right, we are back, right? We are back. Is the stream still alive, right? The stream is still alive. Everything is still good, right? I think we're good. I think we're good. Can you guys hear me now? Yes, okay, we're good, right? So with that said, that was a little bit of a fire, but we're good. We're a little bit of a fire, but we're going to put it out and we're going to carry on strong, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open up the builds so that way we can go ahead and get past this. So let's go ahead and firstly, we're going to do code insiders dot. So code insiders dot. And we don't let this stuff bother us, you know, like we've come into so many things which are worse than this. We're going to overcome it and completely crush it. Okay. So we're going to open up this folder. And then this time, you know what? I'm just going to leave the app.test.js file. But for you guys, I guess you, I want you to delete those files. You don't necessarily need them. I'm just going to delete them because I'm not going to delete them today. But, you know, my computer is being a bit of a, a bit annoying about that. Right. So what you want to do at this point is go ahead and delete this line. You don't want the counter inside the app.js. You don't want the logo in here. And everything from header downwards, we're going to go ahead and delete. Okay, so we're going to delete all of this. And I'm going to say H1. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, let's build Netflix, right? So let's go ahead and build Netflix. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this bit of music first. And then we'll make our way to the dangerous stuff because there is, everything is starting to slowly, you know, be a bit weird. So let's go ahead and build a Netflix, okay? So at this point, I'm going to change this to a lowercase a because we are going to be using the BEM naming convention, okay? So perfect. And then inside of features, right over here, what you want to do now is actually go ahead and we're going to delete this folder, right? But again, I'm kind of worried that this is going to freak out. But I'm going to click on counter and we don't actually want counter. We don't actually care about counter module, but I care about the counter slice. Okay, so I'm going to grab the counter slice and drag it to features. That way it goes outside of that folder. Okay, and then I'm going to close.
Okay, we're back. We're back. I will. I will fix this. We'll get past this. Past this. We'll get past this. I'm not sure what's happening, but we'll we'll fix it more. Okay, now we're back. Cool. We're back. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that one. There you go. Nice. All right. So let's do this. So let's build Netflix. Okay. So if it crashes, don't. We'll get past it and we'll go forward. So I'm going to type in yarn start. Okay, yarn start. Now what we do here, enter. And this will go ahead and run our application. Okay, now we're going to press sec and then this will come up and it should say let's build Netflix if we did everything right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this app up. Now I have, app, I have Netflix running on a local port, I think, or oh, unless I've got rid of that one. Let me go ahead and actually pull this up. So right now it says cannot resolve the um, Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back, all right? I'm going to go ahead and close Epidemic Sounds because I don't know if it's that or I might go ahead and actually keep it on Twitch tomorrow. I don't know. As in, not the stream, but the actual music. I'm not sure what's going on there. But something is causing it to freak out. Maybe it's the, it's the chat. I'm not sure. But we'll figure it out, okay? So um, let's go ahead and carry on, guys. Right, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then it says compiled successfully. Okay, we don't let this stuff stop us. Okay, so now we go over to our local host. Okay, guys, we are going to pull out. All right, guys, we are going to go ahead and use the head. We're going to use the AirPods today. Okay, so we're going to fix this out. We're going to get past this and we're going to wrap out with the old AirPods. So give me one second and uh, we're going to get this up and running. So we got back. We've always got a backup, guys. Give me one sec and we'll be up and running. Okay, can you guys hear me in just a second? Okay, now I'm not sure if you can hear my AirPods or it says the Rodecaster mic is actually live. Can you, okay, is this clear? Is this clear right now? Okay. All right, so I, I can see some kind of static. Is there static noise there or? Right, there is a little bit of static. Okay, that's because my AirPods aren't actually being used as my, right, I'll fix that. Let's go to my audio one second, guys. All right, so we've got the AirPods up. We've got the noise canceling mode on and there we go okay now i'm not sure if you can hear anything else can you okay now you can't hear any external stuff right i think it should be clean or not okay you guys can hear me now all right good i think i think the static is gone all right clear Right, another mic, now it's great, right. Perfect, there we go, now we're using AirPods. Okay, let's go guys, holy crap. All right, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and we fixed it, we overcame it, and we're gonna go ahead and collect guys. So, okay, but it's all clear. All right, it's crackling, perfect, the sound is weird. Yeah, it's not gonna be as clear 
as what it was before, I guess, but we're still going to crush it and it's going to be pretty good. Okay. So you guys can hear me. If you can hear me a bit, that's all we need to do. Okay. All right. So let's go guys. We're going to go over to the, uh, over to our code right here and we're going to keep get it up and running. Okay. So we've got the local host 3000 tomorrow. We'll go ahead and figure it out and we'll work this out guys. It does not matter. We can absolutely crush this without. Now, as for the music, we're just going to code. We're going to code today. We're going to get this out and then we're going to go ahead and uh, crush it tomorrow with the music, okay? Because I don't want the stream to crash, right? That's the main thing. I just don't want this thing to crash. So let's go ahead and build out Netflix. So over here, what we're going to do, everything is working perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my code because everything kind of messed up on me before. So let's go ahead and open up my code um, so I can go ahead and have something to look at while I'm coding with you guys. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, what was your favorite part about the homework? Let me know in the chat right now. What was your favorite part about the homework? Like, are you, are you going to use that as your portfolio? How is it going to happen, right? Let me go ahead and open this up in the meantime. Netflix. There we go. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to open up this code and I have everything up and running again. We are back. We are back in full fashion and nothing is going to stop us, right? Asad said he added drag and drop. Yeah, Asad actually added drag and drop, which is insane. I saw that. Looked really, really nice, guys. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to first start off at app.js, okay? So over at app.js over here, we're going to go ahead, drop this down, and we're going to create the home screen first, okay? So we're going to go ahead and create the home screen, okay? So the home screen component. We still have 500 people watching. Just want to say thank you to everyone. I know those tech issues are annoying, but we don't let it stop us and we're going to crush it regardless, okay? So we're going to absolutely crush it. Just let me know if it does get a bit weird uh, and you guys can't understand what I'm saying. So right now we have the home screen over here. So the first thing that we're going to do is create this component, okay? So I'm going to go to this plus button at the top and type in the home screen.js, okay? Perfect. Now we have this up and running. Now, for app.js, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the let's build Netflix because we don't want that anymore. We don't really care about that. Um, and then what we're going to go ahead and do is <laughs> these tech issues are a papa mascot. Exactly, guys. Um, it's hard to understand what you're saying. All right, let's go ahead and let's try. I mean, I don't know if it's going to work, right? Let's try the headset one more time, right? Let's, should we try it one more time? If it kicks out, then it kicks out. We go back to the AirPods. But let's try it one more time. I think we can do this. I think it might not give up on us. I think it just may, just maybe it will work, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Let's do this. I'm not car. Oh yeah, Andrew said it's all good. Um, but let's go ahead and give this one more try, guys. So I'm gonna go to the Rodecaster. There we go. We've got our lovely, beautiful mic. And let me go and click on the MacBook Pro. Um, where is it gone? Oops, nowhere to be seen. Okay, I mean, I think it's good. Honestly, I think it's good. Let's leave it. I'm gonna break something in a sec, and we're live, and it's easier to go this way. So, tutorial gods are with us always, my friends. It's just another Wednesday, exactly. Nothing's gonna stop us, guys. So we go ahead and create the home screen component. So here you wanna do RFCE to create your home screen component, and we're gonna go ahead and click on the class name, okay? So the class name is gonna say, home screen. We're just going to get into our flow state now. Enough with the distractions, guys. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an appropriate um, home screen.css file. Okay, so home screen.css file. Okay, just like this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import this inside this file. So we're going to say import and here we'll go ahead and say dot forward slash home screen.css save. Okay, this will pull in the CSS from the appropriate file. So now we're, we're basically where we want to be. Now let's think about Netflix, okay? Let's think about this. So over at the top, right, it's Salsa Bella. Hey, what's up? Um, so now let's go ahead and go to the top and uh, let's think about Netflix, right? At the top, we have a nav bar, right? We have a nav bar at the top. And then let's think about, it. we have the banner that we need to create. And then we just have a bunch of different rows. Okay, so we have a bunch of different rows that get rendered on the screen, okay? So this is how it essentially is gonna work, right? Now, even I want the music right now, okay? Even I want the music. Um, Avnish says it's getting better. 
but I think we can be good to go ahead and carry on like this for now. And then we, we kind of, and maybe in about half an hour, we, we, we go ahead and, and try again. Okay, so the nav bar is at the top of the thing. So we're gonna go ahead and first build out, let's build out, hmm, let's build out the nav bar, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a component. So we're gonna create a component called nav.js. Okay, so this is gonna represent the nav bar at the top of the screen, okay? So uh, we're gonna do RFCE, and this will pull up the nav bar, and then here, we're gonna go ahead and say class name equals nav. Perfect, All right? Everything should be perfect on that front. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up a CSS, right? So CSS, so a nav.css file, perfect, All right? And then here, I'm gonna say import, import and then i'm going to say nav.css nav.css perfect All right so now we have our nav css styling and everything's perfect okay now guys i am going to try it one more time i know it's annoying i am going to try it one more time i really do want my mic to be back i love this mic and it did well for me on day one and we're not going to give up on it uh let me just try this out and, and then we can go ahead and give this a check okay so i'm going to go ahead hit the roadcaster there we go. We have the mic back up. Perfect. All right, so let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Yeah. Freezing, right? Okay, I think we're... No, it's freezing. God damn it, it keeps cutting, right? But it's so much better than the mic. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try with no other sound. Okay, so we're not gonna say any other sound. It's working now. I can see it, it's working. All right, but I've got the AirPods here, and then we're gonna go ahead and try it out, All right? All right, so I've got the AirPods here as backup. Okay, they're backup. Okay, let's carry on. So on that bar, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So now, but thank you, Mohammed. <laughs> I love that, honestly. Really does help me out when you when you go ahead and do that. So some people are saying it's cutting. I, I, it looks like it's all clear on my side. It looks like it's all clear on my side um all right let me go ahead and check from the team everyone says it's good hi sunny i live in nice perfect okay difference is clear just with the little glitches it's breaking now uh, okay so it's clear now that's cool all right so nav.js right so over here we're going to have the nav bar and this is going to be responsible for the top area of the portion all right now again i see we could we don't give up on the tech because it does make a big difference okay it makes a huge difference and uh, that's going to help you guys understand me a little bit more uh, we'll we'll get back to the music in a bit right we're going to we're going to keep moving at a, at a normal pace okay so now at the home screen we're going to go ahead and first i want to render this on the screen so let's go over here and let's import this into our file save and then we go ahead and refresh, right? And uh, nice, we just got another donation. Oh yeah, that's the donation that came through. Nice, thank you so much, right? So we should have a blank screen right now, which is perfect because we have only a nav bar inside, um, but we need, okay, so let's go to nav, like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and import the nav, perfect. And we still have 450 people watching, so thank you so much, okay? Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Uh, for sticking me sticking with me through that headache and i promise you i'm going to deliver on this right hey let's just say this is the nav okay so this is the nav and then that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna start from okay i mean it doesn't look that great right now but we'll go ahead and make it look perfect okay so at this point um we're gonna sometimes it's cutting sometimes it's not um okay so i think that might just be my that might just be my wire i think dude um okay so I think keeps cutting sometimes, hard to listen. No, it's fine, okay. I mean, guys, I'm trying, trying here. Don't worry, we're good. All right, the hot import extension, if you wanna go ahead and go to the end of a component, you can then go ahead and press Control space bar and it will, when you're at the end here, AirPods. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, stick with the trusty AirPods. Okay. We are almost there. Uh, almost there, guys.
All right, give me one sec. It's connecting. It's just connecting, and uh, it's going to be important that we get this right. Don't worry, guys. We can we can carry on in two seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and reset these. Okay. I'll show you guys what's happening right now. Look, I'm just literally waiting for my AirPod to come through on the laptop and then we should be able to be all good to go. Okay. Caroline says, those are the eyes of a broken man. Get some sleep. I'm all good, dude. I'm all good. We're strong and we'll get through this. Okay. So just give me one second, guys, and we'll get this up and running. So the AirPods aren't, aren't working with me right now. Let me go ahead and try this. Okay, almost there, come on, come on, let me go ahead and try one more time. I mean the real ones are going to stick with me for this, right? Now you guys hear what I hear with the PC fans. Okay, let's try one more time, let's reset these, and... I don't want to try that mic. I don't want to try that mic. Yeah. So Samuel says, do you need to delete the counter folder? Yes. Delete the counter folder and uh, that would be good. Yeah. You have to delete, deactivate the Bluetooth on your phone. I did deactivate the Bluetooth on the phone, uh, but for some reason we're still getting a bit of a headache. Uh, let's go ahead and try one more time. Hey, there we go. All right. So they're connected. I'm going to go ahead and set this up and then we're using this headset right i'm not changing it now we're going to use this one and we're going to trust that they do the job right okay nice we're good thank you <laughs> thank you for sticking that one out honestly i'm sorry guys sorry about that headache but let's go ahead and carry on okay all right we made it papa fam gets through this every time don't worry all right we have the nav bar over here right so we're going to have to go ahead and do this without the music, which, which is fine, you know, that way we've got this. We've got each other to keep each other cool, okay? So we've got the nav bar at the top over here. And the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and set this up. So I want to do a few things here. I want to go ahead and firstly have a picture in the nav bar. So we're going to have an image tag, right? And then we're also going to have the avatar itself, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and have the image. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up a bit more easier so I can see it. Yeah, so we've got the image over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I've got a Netflix image here. But for some reason, I don't think that Netflix image is actually valid anymore, but we'll see if it's there. So let's go ahead and refresh. If this is the Netflix image, okay, so it's not actually there. So we need a Netflix image, okay? So we're gonna to go to Netflix and we're gonna type logo. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab a Netflix logo. Uh, hopefully a transparent one would do the trick perfectly or a black one. We can go ahead and do this possibly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy the image address. And first, you just want to make sure that it's an actual PNG. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to use this one as my reference for the Netflix logo, right? Save it. And let's just go ahead and give this a try firstly, okay? So I'm going to go back here. Perfect. Okay, so we have Netflix up. Hey, it's all working. <laughs> all right, so everything is good, right? Um, so we have Netflix up and running. Um, so now what we're going to do is have a second image, and this is going to represent the avatar, okay? So at the top of the screen, we're going to get, I've got a picture of an avatar over here, and then we've got this one over here. So guys, you can go ahead and literally use any Netflix picture, and it'll work the same. So I've got an avatar link over here for a picture. You guys can go ahead and pause the video, and you can pretty much copy that out if you want to, um, or you can feel free to go ahead. And I'll go ahead and send this into uh, uh, for Jay to send into the chat right now. So I'll get him to send it into the chat. If you guys want it, you can feel free to do it, okay? Um, so with that said, now we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna get into a flow now, okay? That threw me off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but here we're gonna give it a class name of nav underscore logo, okay? And then a second class name over here of nav underscore avatar, right? Avatar, like so, save it and perfect. Everything works really good so far, okay? So we're gonna go back over here and now we should be able to style these appropriately when we need to, okay? So the first thing that I wanna also do is I wanna have a surrounding div around this area, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and say div dot and I'm gonna say nav underscore contents. And this is the BEM naming convention, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, grab the image tags like so, pop it into nav contents and save. 
Okay, so thank you so much. I just want to say thank you so much for all of the positivity through all of these tech issues. You guys have been incredible, and this is why we stand out from any other community that there is out there. This is why the Papa Fam prevails. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so now we go ahead and save, and then we go ahead and hit refresh. Perfect, and it's working. All right, so make sure you just, you know, at regular intervals, you go ahead and you have this working and as you need it, right? So we're going to go ahead and open up nav.css. I'm just going to pop this to the side over here, right? So let's style this out a little bit and let's get this looking a lot more like the Netflix app, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this on the right-hand side. And the first thing that I want to do is actually fix the sort of styles, right? So this is huge right now. We don't want it that big okay we don't want it that big so on the left hand side i'm going to go ahead and firstly make nav content so this container right here i'm going to give that a flex okay so it's going to be a flex and i'm going to justify the content to be spaced between now you can see it's done this kind of janky weird behavior right so it's not perfect at this point it's nowhere near perfect but we're going to get it there right we're going to go ahead and get it there All right so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get the logo, right? The logo is way too big right now. So I'm going to style the logo. And for the logo, I'm actually going to do a little trick here. I'm going to say the position is actually going to be fixed. Okay, so the position is going to be fixed, right? And it's going to be to the right 20 pixels. Now, what I'm going to do is make this a little bit easier for you guys to see something. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this to the left-hand side and I'll pop my nav underneath and I'll go ahead and get the code and pop this on the right-hand side on our, on our page, okay? So give me one sec, let me go ahead and chuck this in here and now you guys can see as we're coding how everything look and feels, okay? So let me go ahead and pull this up, nice. So now you can see the logo is a bit strange right now, right? It doesn't look right, okay? So we've got some weird stuff happening right now and this is definitely not what we want as our result, okay? So the way we do it is we go ahead and we say our nav logo should be fixed and it's gonna be a left of zero, sorry, left of zero, this one is what we want and that's gonna flip it over there. And you can see right now it's hidden because the uh, avatar picture is behind the logo, okay? So the first thing that I wanna do to fix that is target the avatar. So target this avatar over here, so nav underscore avatar. And then I'm going to go ahead and say cursor. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are really, it's honestly bringing me back with the uh, with the po positive comments. That's amazing, All right? So we've got posit a position fix, and then we've got right. And I don't want it to touch a side. So if I do zero, it's going to touch a side. But 20 pixels will make it slightly a little bit out, right? It'll just make it slightly a little bit out from the side, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is actually give it a width and height of 30 pixels, okay? So width and height of 30 pixels. Okay, so width and height of 30 pixels. I'm gonna hit save. Now you can see, whoa, that's actually too small. That's tiny right now. So that's not exactly the one I wanted. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, sorry, it's, it's correct. It's correct, it is actually correct. It's because I'm zoomed out right now. So we need to make sure we're back in 100%. There we go. Perfect, so you can see it's actually right up there. Right, that's actually what we wanted. And the Netflix right now is just too big. Okay, so for here, this one we're gonna say it has a width of 80 pixels, okay? Now, you can see that's perfect. It's gone to the top right-hand corner, okay? So, Ricardo, where's the hype music? The reason being, the reason why we haven't got music in the background today is because we had a few mic issues and I don't wanna risk the mic blowing everything up again. So, we're gonna go ahead and just talk this one out as we build this, right? Sometimes it's nice to get into a coding state when we're doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this, All right? So now when we have this at the top of the screen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do object fit contain, padding left of 20 pixels, and I'm gonna make it a cursor pointer because right now if I hover over this, guys, it doesn't show the cursor as a pointer. Okay, so if I go ahead and do that now, you can see now it no longer touches the side, but I also get this nice little cursor pointer as I go over it, which indicates that it's something that's gonna be clickable. Okay, so what we're going to do on the right hand side is very similar. We're going to give that a cursor pointer as well. Okay, so at the top, I'm going to say cursor pointer like so. And it's a position fixed, and we've already done this correctly, and everything looks pretty good at that point. Okay, so now if I go ahead and hover over this one, I get the little finger to represent the pointer cursor. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted to be in the place that we want to get. Okay, perfect. This is nice, right? So you can do 
you can change this up as much as you want. Honestly, uh, if you want to go ahead, there's many ways to write this stuff, um, but you guys can feel free to do it as you please, right? So at this point, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give the background a black color. Okay, I'm going to give the background a black color. And what I actually want to do is, if you see over here right now, this one's kind of messed up. But what we actually want is we actually want a transparent Netflix logo for what for a reason I'll show you. So I'm going to actually grab a different Netflix logo and it's going to be a transparent one. And the reason why I'll show you in just a sec. So I'm going to write Netflix logo transparent. And here you can see if you click it and it has the little boxes behind it, that's golden, right? So I'm going to click copy image address. I'm just going to check that that's actually a PNG. Perfect it is. And then I'm going to go back to our code and I'm going to change. So Jay, if you don't mind just sharing this in the chat, there you go. So this is the new Netflix logo, right? So I'm going to go ahead and drop this one over here and there you go. And now we should, if we refresh, have a different Netflix logo. Perfect. Okay. So this is going to be really good. So George says on your Netflix challenge, are you implementing login functionality? Yes. On day two, it's going to have full login functionality. So do not worry, my friend, it will be working perfectly. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have at the top, right, where we have the header sort of uh, at the top of the page, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add an additional uh, class called nav black. Okay, and I'll show you why we have this one, right? So for nav black, I'm actually going to go ahead and style and do nav black and give it a background color. And this is the Netflix black. Okay, so if we go ahead and do that, and I go ahead and save this one and refresh, let's go ahead and see. And we should see at this point, so right now it's not actually come through, so we need to double check what has changed here. So we've got nav black at the top, and then we've got our style inside. Okay, so at the top of the nav, let's go ahead and firstly style out the nav and then we can go ahead and do it because there's a reason why this isn't happening because we have fixed elements. We need to say nav, there we go, and we're going to say here, position is fixed for the nav, okay? It's going to be fixed at the top, so we're going to say fixed at the top, and we're going to say top of zero, okay? Perfect, and then here we're going to say it's got padding of 20 pixels, right? I'm going to give it a width of 100%. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and say width of 100%. And you can see if I save it, you see what's happened here, guys, right? So everything looks almost right, almost right. And then we're going to say height of 30 pixels. So we're going to restrict the height here. And then we're going to go ahead and say this has a Z index of 100. And I'll show you why that is actually important afterwards. We can use one for now, that's fine. Okay, now we are going to have some animations on this where it shows, where it reveals, and then it disappears. Okay, the way that we do this is we go ahead and we're going to use these lines of code right here. We're going to have animations, right? It's going to say transition timing function ease in and transition for all of the elements 0.5 seconds. Okay, that's how we get that nice effect. What's up, guys? We still have 400 people watching. So if you go ahead and um, if you go ahead and smash the thumbs up button it's going to help this video get out to so many more people okay so let's go ahead and go back and you guys can see at full uh, full size it looks pretty damn good okay now the netflix logo we just need a slight adjustment on that so for the netflix logo i'm going to go ahead and actually change the position here to say um let's just get, go ahead and maybe reduce the padding to 10 pixels let's go ahead and see no we still want 20 pixels but you can see there's an animation to that right now Okay, so actually looks pretty good. But for now, we'll keep it as this and we'll go ahead and fix it afterwards, okay? So this looks pretty good. But what I actually want is when it scrolls down on the page, I want that to show and disappear. So I'm gonna show you guys how that is. Nice, Sandy just said we broke 500 likes. I can't actually see right now um, what is happening, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. Go ahead and check after. So you guys have to be my eyes for the, the sort of uh, the numbers there, right? So we're gonna say position top of zero and I'll show you what happens here. So if we do top of zero, we can go down maybe 20 pixels. Let's have a look. Nope, so it's too much. 10 pixels might be the sweet spot here. Perfect, right? 10 pixels. And there we go. Netflix is at the top, okay? So that looks really, really nice. Mehdi says, uh, we are revising HTML, CSS. I'm learning at the same time. Thank you so much, guys. 510 likes, Aisha, amazing stuff. Let's keep going, guys. Keep going strong, right? So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have the show and hide functionality, okay? So the way we do that is inside the home screen. What I'm going to do just for testing purposes is have a H1 that just says, uh, let's just say test right here, right? And the reason why I'm doing right here is I'm just going to spam this out, right, and save it. 
Now check this out, right? If we go ahead and refresh. So now I've, the reason why I've done this is because I want to have this, I want to have a scrollable container, right? And the reason why I've done this is because I want it so that now if I go past a certain point in the page, it's going to go ahead and have, um, it's going to go ahead and disappear. Right? I want to sort of make that top disappear after you scroll down. Okay. So after we go ahead and scroll down, then it's going to go ahead and say that. Um, Logo needs to be a bigger way to adjust. So guys, again, you guys can, you know, you can go ahead and mess around with the styles a bit. I just want to go ahead and run through this a little bit. Um, but what we're going to do now at the top is where we have the nav black, right? So where we have nav black over here at the top of our nav.js, let's click it. So where we have nav.js, uh, we're going to go to the top and we're actually going to use something called uh, the, we're going to use a use effect, but it's actually going to use something called an event listener, right? And what we're going to listen to is when we scroll on the screen, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to have a piece of state. So I'm going to go to the top of our nav, and I'm going to just close the nav bar for a sec, and I'm going to say const. So let's go ahead and say const. Oops. Let's go ahead and say const. And then here I'm going to say show. And then here I'm going to say handle show, okay? So handle show like so, and then we'll say equals use state, right? Now here I'm gonna, it's gonna be a default value of false, okay? Thank you so much, Brett. He goes, shout out to the papa, still going strong, you are a legend, thank you so much, dude. And honestly, guys, you can use whatever positions, uh, sort of stuff you want at this point. There's a reason why I'm doing it this way, okay? So then we're gonna go ahead and create a function called transition navbar, okay? It's gonna be the transition for the navbar, right? And now here, what we're gonna say is we're gonna say if the window Right, if the window scroll Y, so the vertical scroll height is greater than 100. So you imagine if you've scrolled more than 100, right? So if you've scrolled more than 100 on your screen, then we're gonna go ahead and say handle show, and we're gonna say true. Okay, so we're gonna say, then you should show the nav bar, right? You're gonna show the black bit of the nav bar, uh, right? Else, we're gonna say handle show false. Right, and this is going to be representative the representative for the black bit over here. Now, we've got a question here saying, What is use state? Can you please explain once? Use state is essentially the easy way of defining our variables inside of React. Okay, so if you're ever using a variable inside of React, you're most likely going to be initializing it with the use state hook. Right, this is how React knows when to re render accordingly. Okay, so that's what we use it for the use state hook. Okay, so. Now that we have that in place, we have the transition navbar um, function. We're gonna go ahead and create a use effect. Now a use effect is a very handy React hook and it takes a function, right? So this is our function inside. Now it also takes a second argument. And if we give it the empty dependency brackets, right? If you wanna know more about this, we do cover it inside the course. But for now, what I'm just gonna say is this will means that the code will only run when the component mounts, okay? So here what I'm gonna say is window dot add event listener. Okay, so I'm going to go down to add event listener and I'm going to type in scroll, right? Now what this means is, okay, every time we scroll, we're going to listen to that event, right? I'm actually going to trigger off the function that we just wrote called transition navbar, okay? So as we scroll, it's going to go ahead and add in the following. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make this slightly bigger and this slightly smaller. So here we go. As we scroll, it's going to go ahead and trigger the transition nav bar, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. And then also what we're gonna say is we're gonna have a cleanup function which says return. So inside of a use effect, you can clean up some stuff. So in this case, when the component mounts, we wanna go ahead and actually have the, uh, we wanna attach this transition nav bar as a listener to when the user scrolls on the page, but we need to clean it up as well. So here we say window dot remove event listener, and then we say scroll. And then we do comma, and you just pass in the same function. Okay, so it's gonna remove that function being attached to the listener, right? And then we hit save, and it works pretty good. Okay, so that looks pretty okay at this point, but we're not using the variable. So we're gonna go ahead and also import the appropriate things. So we now, uh, you don't always need the cleanup, but it's a good practice to do it, especially when you're attaching listeners. If you do want to see examples of that, I actually go in uh, quite in quite good detail inside uh, the Zero to Full Stack Hero course, okay? So then what we're going to do is that we're also going to go to the use effect, and I'm going to go ahead and import the use effect hook, okay? So again, I don't know why my code, everything's just going against me today, All right? Use effect, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save, perfect, okay? So... 
Use state is not defined, it is defined, so we can go ahead and refresh. And then thank you so much, Kaolan Fanning. You've been great help to me, self-learning, trying to get good enough for my first job. Good to see you posting solo. Hope all is well with you and the family. Love from Ireland. Dude, thank you so much. That actually meant a huge amount, man. That, uh, that was absolutely uh, a lovely, lovely message to read. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look. So we've got, te okay, so now we've got this. Right. So we need to use this show variable, okay? Show variable over here. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Um, so we're gonna go here and now what we're gonna say is, okay, only add the nav black styles, which actually gave this sort of black background when we have that show. Oh. Can you guys, can you guys hear that? <laughs> we just got a, we got a nice little uh, entry there, nice. All right, so. Mayor Bond's in the house. Mayor, we've had a huge amount of tech issues today, but we're getting past. We're getting past it, okay? Everything's been against us today, but we'll, we won't let it be us. All right, so now we're going to need string interpolation. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and give back ticks instead, okay? So this is going to be back ticks like so. And then what we're going to do is change this to go ahead and say um, exclamation. So we're going to have our little interpolation. And here I'm going to say only render the nav black class if the show variable is true okay so this is saying only add the nav black class if the show um, variable is true so let me go ahead and hit save okay now check this out right look at this nice like look at that guys so as we scroll down it's there and as we scroll up look at that it only comes down after a certain point now why is that gonna look so good because imagine guys when we have the banner and everything up there it's gonna look crisp right it's gonna look really crisp that when you scroll down it will go ahead and it will change to um, not have the overall black bar in front of it okay so it's a really nice little trick that you can apply and the cleanup function means that it doesn't you know it doesn't get very uh, annoying right so nice, we've got loads of people saying this is super clean, exactly, that's awesome, right? So now what we're gonna do is go back to the home screen and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these little test markers, right? So we've already already finished that stuff, so we can go ahead and get rid of that for now. We're gonna hit save, okay, perfect. Hit refresh and there we go, right? The reason why I had it before is because if I didn't have that sort of overflow with the text, you wouldn't be able to test that out, right? So I wanna be able to test it and see it. The next thing we're gonna do is build the banner, okay? So let's go ahead and have some fun with the banner, right? So guys, uh, let me know, what, what, what do you think we're gonna be doing here, right? What do you think we're gonna be doing? It's actually a pretty cool little build here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create the banner component. So banner, like so. And I need to go ahead and get rid of this comment. So let's go ahead and get rid of this, save. And I'm gonna go ahead and create banner.js, banner.js, right? And then we're gonna do RFCE. And then we're gonna go ahead and save, right? So um, 536 likes, nice guys, let's keep on going. This is amazing. Even despite all the tech issues, we are absolutely killing it. Right. So for anyone who is new here, don't feel afraid that you're going to get like left behind. Just take your time, watch the video and everything is going to be OK. Right. And despite the tech issues, we'll get past that. OK, so let's go ahead and save. All right. Uh, nice. Nikhil says pulling in video titles, posters and even YouTube videos on those. Exactly. All right. So that, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and go to create a banner.css file. So banner.css. And there we go, nice, All right? And let's go ahead and save. Somebody said it's 3 a.m. here and I have classes at nine. Damn, that's amazing, guys. Let's go ahead and import banner.css and then do that, right? Save, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is go over to our home screen and make sure that the import is correct. Otherwise, that messes up. So let's go ahead and hit save and then refresh. There we go, perfect. You should get to this screen if everything is good, right? So remember, just take your time, break this down, and everything is going to be okay, right? So for the banner, what we're gonna do is we actually need a backdrop image, right? We need some kind of image to go ahead and show sort of like a, on the front screen, right? So for, for now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get a dummy image until we go ahead and hook up the back end. So I'm gonna say, let's just type in Netflix, uh, let's just see Netflix banner image. Let's go ahead and try and find something. Let's maybe use, um, let's go ahead and actually say, 
let's just use this one for now, right? Let's use this, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna do copy image address, and this might be a little bit blurry, but it's fine, right? So we're gonna go ahead and pass this over here, perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is jump into our banner, right? We're gonna go ahead inside of here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add an image, okay? But we're not gonna just do a typical image, right? The first thing is, I'm actually gonna make use of the uh, header uh, sort of class. So I'm gonna make sure this is actually a header, so I'm gonna show you something new today with that, right? I'm giving it a class name banner, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do an inline style, okay? And there's a reason why I'm doing an inline style, and I'll show you afterwards, but this takes an object, okay? This takes an object to go ahead and do that, right? And then what we're gonna say is background, Right, and I'm gonna say image, right? Background image, and this will take, we need to do some concatenation, and here I need to say URL, right? Now I see a lot of people asking about the snippets. If you want those beautiful snippets, you need to go to the extensions and type in ES7 React Redux. So it's these snippets over here. If you wanna do RFCE and all of those neat little tricks, okay? Still have 400 people watching. Thank you guys, you guys are being incredible. Let's keep going strong. Come on, we got this guys, all right? So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add URL, okay? And then inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and pop in the URL that we have over here. And then I'm going to, and the reason why I've done the interpolation is because I will be replacing that soon with the correct image, okay? Now I'm going to pass in the background size cover over here. Perfect. Hit save. And let's just see how this looks a little bit at the beginning, right? So if I go ahead and refresh, nothing is actually coming up at this point. Now let's just double check the home screen. We are rendering, perfect, okay, so everything is kind of coming in. And then we've got this over here. So the URL it seems okay at this point. Let's make this actually sort of proper quotes instead. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and say that the background position should be center, center, okay? Let's go ahead and do that and hit refresh, All right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into our banner.css. All right, we have so many lovely comments today, guys. Thank you so much for the positivity. Honestly, it means the world, especially when we hit into sort of tricky issues that we have faced like today, okay? Like it's really nice to go ahead and have you guys have my back with this stuff, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give this a height, right? So I'm gonna say banner. So banner. And here I'm gonna say height of 448 pixels. And there you can see, guys, we have the banner. Right now, this isn't actually the easiest banner to see, right? but it's going to be the banner, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to say this is, has a position of relative because we are going to have some nice little uh, elements inside of this. And then I'm going to say object fit contain so that way it doesn't stretch regardless of what we have inside. And I'm going to also going to give the text inside a color of white. Okay, so every time we do object fit contain, it means that if we have a bigger image in here and it changes its size then we'll go ahead and it will keep the aspect ratio. But you guys can see that, look how nice that is, right? So it goes ahead and the center center, you can see over here, is making sure that it stays central, right? So this is how we get that nice little effect, okay? So that looks pretty good at this point in time, right? So we're gonna keep it there for now, right? And then what I'm gonna say is, we're gonna go down and we're gonna go inside of the header, right? So inside of the header now, what we're actually gonna have is a div called banner contents, okay? So banner contents. Now for this link, if you do want this, I'll go ahead and get Jay to pop this in the chat right now, right? I mean, again, you don't necessarily need that banner image. This is just a testing one until we go ahead and get this uh, sort of added out, right? So uh, nice guys, I can see loads of new people here actually. That's really cool. Right. So what we're going to do now, and exactly, Gwen's correct, guys. Keep it very simple in the beginning. Don't overcomplicate your builds. Honestly, it's going to get too messy. You don't want to do that at the beginning, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add a, um, a div, right? And this div is going to have banner contents, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and say banner contents. Now inside of here, I'm going to have a H1, and this is going to represent the banner title. So I'm going to do edit. I'm going to say H1 banner underscore title, right? And I'm going to go here, and, and oh, my M is being a bit weird. There we go, banner title. And this is gonna represent the movie name. Okay, so this will be the movie name. And if we go ahead and hit refresh, we're not actually gonna see this right now because it probably, oh yeah, okay, it has. Yeah, it's, it's jumped on top of it at the top. There, you see that, right? So it's at the top over there. Right, so we have movie name at the top. 
And we're going to go ahead and fix all the styling in just a sec. 390 people watching. We actually have 412 across platforms and 564 likes. Amazing stuff, right? So uh, let's keep going strong. And guys, if anyone who has joined, the reason why we're using the AirPods today is because we had a slight audio issue, which will get fixed for tomorrow and it will be fine, okay? Um, but yeah, day two of the Netflix challenge is going strong. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to have some of the buttons, okay? So for the buttons, I'm going to have the following. I'm going to have a div, and inside the div, I'm going to have banner underscore buttons, right? So it's two underscores because of them. Banner buttons, right? Gurpreet Singh says, love the work, buddy. Learned a lot from you. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and bring on the, uh, the chat and stuff right here. So that's perfect. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to add a button over here, and one button is going to say play. Right, and we're gonna have another button which is gonna say add to my list. Right, so it's just gonna be my list because on Netflix that's how it looks. Okay, we have like two buttons and they look pretty similar to that. Let's go ahead and refresh. You can see play and my list at the top over there. Right, so again, this isn't looking that like great at the moment, but this will be pretty, pretty good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna try the music today, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going with this, and then we can go ahead and tomorrow we can go ahead and add on the music, okay? So don't worry, just keep focused today and that's the main thing that we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna give both of these a class name. I'm gonna give both of them a class name, right? And I'm gonna give the class name banner button. So it's singular, not plural, okay? Let's go ahead and save. And then we can go ahead and style this afterwards. Now we've got banner buttons, we've got this looking pretty good. And the final thing that we would have is underneath the div, here, and we're going to add a H1, and it's going to be with the class name of banner description. Okay, so it's going to be banner description. And here, I'm going to say this is a test description. And this will be where the film description goes. Okay, so test description, hit save. Shiri Hamza, the reason why we aren't using the music today is because we're actually going to go ahead and we had a bit of audio issues earlier. So I'm not going to go ahead and carry on with the music until we can get this working perfectly, okay? So you can see, this is what we look like right now. But to me, it doesn't look the best right now, right? It doesn't look the best, but we are gonna get it there, right? So what we're gonna do underneath this div, we're gonna have a little trick up our sleeve. We're gonna have a div, and then we're gonna say, this div is gonna have a banner, right? But it's actually gonna have a modifier. So in BEM, you do dash dash for a modifier. We're gonna say fade, Button. All right. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go ahead and you can copy along, right? So you're going to make this a self-closing tag, and this is going to give that us that, that nice fade at the end of this, right? Guys, if you do want this code, uh, it's actually part of the. Um, it's going to be inside of the proper GitHub repo. I will be adding it in there, so that's going to be uh, inside of that. If you are interested in that, right? So let's go ahead and carry on. So. Now we're gonna make this styled out, right? Because right now it does not look the absolute best, right? Now we do have this imaginary gap at the top right here. So in the beginning, when we set everything up, what we actually wanna do is go into app.js, app.css, sorry. And we wanna delete everything inside of app.css, right? The second thing that we wanna do is go into index.css, and then we wanna to go to the top of index.css, add an asterisk, and type in margin of zero. Okay, and that gets rid of that top little gap. Okay, so um, anyone who's going to go ahead and spam me is simply going to get blocked. Please don't do that. Um, so one of our moderators, please come in, block that chat. Thank you. Because um, it literally goes ahead and spams it otherwise, and that's not how we do things here. Okay, so um, I can't actually seem to time out. So there we go. Right. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and remove that. Yeah, perfect, nice. So we're gonna go ahead and style that section. So the first thing I wanna do is banner contents, right? Banner contents. So the top thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull banner CSS under here because I think it's nice when you guys can see the CSS on the left and then the code on the right. As I said, you don't have to code together. No, you can follow along and then kind of do this afterwards. That's completely fine um, to do it that way as well, okay? So for the banner contents, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and target the banner contents, right? Then I'm gonna say, let's give it a margin left, margin left, uh, and then we're gonna say 30 pixels, okay? Save, and then let's go ahead and save. So now it's popped over to the left, and I'm gonna give it a padding top of 140 pixels, okay? So you can see it's popped into the middle. Now, it's kinda of hard to tell with this background, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a, so let's just say a black um, banner, let's just say black banner, 
and we're just going to use this banner for now and I'm going to go ahead and literally get a black banner so that you guys can see what's going on I'm going to copy the image make sure it's a PNG okay perfect so it's a PNG and I'm going to go ahead and drop that to Jay so he can drop that in the chat and what we're going to use here is I'm going to swap this image out with a black banner for now okay so I'm going to get rid of this and then if we go ahead and save there we go okay so that's a lot more easier for you guys to visually see as to what's going on okay so loads of on the fly fixing here but we're, we're gonna we're gonna make it work okay so the height here what i'm gonna do is go ahead and padding con banner contents go ahead and paste the height right musa says what i like about you is you can explain things by the simple way thank you so much honestly i really make it my mission to make the complicated things simple okay that's my main mission and that's what we do here at the puppy fan so let's go ahead and hit save on that and this is looking pretty good, okay, so far. This is not looking bad, right? This is not looking bad. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to target the banner title. And we're going to do the following with the banner title. We're going to go ahead and pass in a font size of 3 rem, font weight of 800, and a padding bottom of 0 0.3 rem, okay? Um, we're going to be deploying this app, by the way, with Firebase. So I see that question being asked quite a lot in the chat right now and uh, yes we're going to be deploying it with firebase and then for the description i'm going to do a bunch of styling under there as well so right now the description over here is a bit too bit too big to be honest right it's a bit too like hefty so i'm going to go ahead and say banner description with the 45 rem line height of 1.3 because remember it's going to be like several lines in some cases padding top of one rem font size 0.8 max width of 360 pixels and a height of 80 pixels Okay, so this will make it a lot smaller and it just looks a lot cleaner, right? So that's gonna that's what we're gonna do here. Now for the button, we're gonna do a few things over here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, firstly, let's go ahead and fix this fade button, right? So what I did over here, remember I added an empty div. And now this is a little CSS trick that you can incorporate into your projects, right? So whenever you have a, a, a div and you wanna kind of add a little bit of a fade to the bottom of it, you basically can put an empty div like so and you can target the empty div right with the by getting its css selector like so and then what we do is we simply go ahead and give it firstly a height right so in this case i've given it the perfect height of 7.4 gram right i calculated this before and that's the height of the imaginary uh div right and then we're going to give the background image a linear gradient okay so you guys can copy this out and it's simply a linear gradient right so Thank you, Ismail. He goes, it's so easy with you. Thank you so much, dude. So we're going to give it a background image. This is a linear gradient. Gradient. It's 180 degrees. It's transpa it starts with a transparent background, hence why it's going to be a fade, right? And at the top, it's got like a, a 0 0.61 transparency. So it's not fully there, but it's going to be eventually, that's the midpoint. So it's going to be somewhat of a, like a middle ground. And then you've got black on the other side, right? So let's go ahead and save. And you guys can see now, it's very, it's kind of subtle, but you can see it added like a slight, slight color there, right? Added a slight, slight fade there. And we're going to use that in just a sec, right? It's going to be very important for what we decide to use next, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and style those buttons because right now those buttons look a bit ugly, right? So we're going to go ahead and say banner button, right? So under here, we're going to say banner button. So let's go ahead and pop it in, banner button. And then we're going to do the following. So we're going to say, firstly, it's a cursor pointer, color white, outline none. And we're going to give it a border of none. Right? I want these buttons to be clean. Right? So if we do that, I mean, right now we can't actually see the button. Right? It looks kind of messy. We haven't deployed the app just yet, guys. Um, just if you're wondering, right? The next thing I'm going to do is give it a font weight of 700, border radius of 0.2, view width. So it's going to use the view width. Padding left, padding right, and a margin right. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and drop those in over here and save and you guys can see as we do that it starts to look a bit better right and then what i'm going to do is give a padding top a background color and a padding bottom right so there's a few different things that we're going to add here right thank you so much shubham he says can we all just appreciate the hard work thank you so much dude really really appreciate that right and you can see immediately that final change with the background color gave it this really nice netflix like finish 
Okay, so again, if you're new to development and you, you're not sure what, where to go with this stuff, all you need to do is follow along and everything will slowly get ingrained with pattern recognition. We still have 400 people watching. I just want to say thank you. Honestly, I just want to say thank you so much, guys. All right. The final thing is that when I hover over this, I want it to have a nice hover effect. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is go ahead and target banner button and hover. Right. So I'm going to do the hover selector, which is a colon, which means when I hover over that element, I want to change the color of the text to black. I want the background color to be a slight white, and I want to transition that. Okay. So the way I do that is I go ahead and I and I paste it in. I say color background color, and I've got a nice background color there. And you guys can see that transition gives it that subtle color change, right? If I don't have the transition, look what happens, guys. If I get rid of that, can you see how immediate that is, right? It's a bit too like in your face, snappy. It's not the nicest thing to look at, right? So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and save and then go ahead and refresh and see, look, you guys can see, now we get a nice subtle gradient, right? That's really, really clean, okay? So if you guys think this is cool right now and you haven't already, please, I would really appreciate if you just smash that thumbs up button. It will help the video go out to as many people, help overcome the sort of delay. And I'm not sure how many likes we're at, so somebody let me know and we can go ahead and see how that is, right? Um, but yeah, with that said, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add in this nice truncate method, okay? So whenever we have, for example, the test description, okay? Imagine the test description was so long, right? Imagine it was so, so long. So if I go ahead and paste this, paste this, paste this, like it's super long right now, right? If I save it, look what's gonna happen, right? It's just gonna look a bit weird, right? It's gonna look a bit strange. Some 588 likes, almost gonna break 600, guys. Come on, let's push to break 600, all right? And remember, the real ones, the real people who are gonna make it difference in this world are the ones who are gonna stay to the end. So keep going, guys. I promise you, it'll be worth it. We're gonna create a function which is going to truncate, right? Truncate. So this means that basically when the text is too long, it will basically get rid of the remainder of the text and just put dot, dot, dot at the end of it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is go ahead, nice, 600 likes. There we go, guys, amazing stuff. I think we can keep going. I think we just keep going. We can get seven, eight. We do it every time. Papa Fam is too strong, right? Here we're gonna say function, and I'm gonna say truncate. Thank you so much, guys. Broke 600, I made my day. And then here, it's gonna be a function. And again, you can use arrow functions or regular functions, and, and then we can go ahead and do it. Somebody said, why are you not using props? You only use it when you need to use it, guys. Don't use it just because it's there, right? This will take a string, right? The truncate will take a string, and it will take a N, right? And the N is going to represent the number of characters before you want to cut them off, and you want to put the dot, 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 okay? So here, what do we want to do? Right, this is actually a pretty quirky little function, right? And all we're going to do here is say, this is the ellipsis function. So you can use the ellipsis function. So this is basically a ellipsis function. I'm just showing you how you can do it. We say return string, right? And the string might not be present. So we go ahead and put an optional. And we say length. And the reason why it might not be there is because in, the, in very soon when we make an API call, there might be a point when the string is undefined. So we're going to protect ourselves before it gets to that point, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say string.length, and I'm going to say greater than the number, right? If it's greater than, for example, if I pass in 150 here, if it gets greater than 150, then I want to do this special function called substring, right? And again, you don't need to necessarily fully understand what this is happening, but you guys can go ahead and check this out, right? I'm going to say string.substring, right? So substring. And then uh, Big BLB says water break. The reason why I'm not gonna have a water break just yet is because I can fill my bladder today actually playing with me. Everything is against me today, I'm telling you, All right? So I'm gonna go ahead and say zero. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Somebody said they're watching through multiple devices just to support a channel, amazing, thank you. Substring zero, and we're gonna say n minus one, and I'll show you what this does in just a sec, right? And we basically say plus, and then we do dot, dot, dot. And basically what it will do is it'll cut the string after it reaches that character count and it'll just add dot, dot, dot. Otherwise, if it's not greater than 150, so if this condition isn't satisfied, then what we can do is just simply return the string, okay? So that will work really nice. And what we can now say is we can go ahead and actually make this entire thing inside of our JSX. And I can go ahead and say truncate, right? So truncate, and I can pass this in as a string, okay? 
and then I can go ahead and close my parentheses. And here, what I can do is firstly, let's go ahead and do back ticks so that way it supports the uh, line closing. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and say 150 is my character limit. Now, watch what happens, guys. If I go ahead and save, check this out, right? So if we go ahead and refresh, you guys can see after 150 characters, it truncated, right? And you can increase that number over here and it will go ahead and allow for more text if the number is greater and allow for less text if the number is less, right? Still 400 people watching, amazing stuff, guys, right? Let's keep on going, right? So we have that up and running, which is really, really great, right? So this is looking good. Um, the next thing that we wanna do now is we're actually gonna go ahead and I think it's time to go ahead and fetch some movie data, right? So we're gonna go ahead and fetch the movie data and we're gonna first start off by pulling in the banner, right? We're gonna pull in the banner and everything's gonna look pretty good, right? So the magic starts to happen at this point in time, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is get TMDB. So you guys wanna go over to tmdb.com to get started, right? So literally type in TMDB inside of Google and you will see this, the movie database. You wanna click on it, Thank you so much, guys. Aaron says it's time for water, bro. You're right, because I start to get dehydrated. There we go. What's up, Papa Fam? Love the comments and energy, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the top right. So you just need to make an account. It's all free, okay? So you're going to go ahead and create, uh, and where it says profile and settings, right? So I'm going to click it, and I'm going to click on edit profile. Or actually, I think it's in settings, but let's go ahead and click settings for now. Right. So you just need to go ahead, create an account, and then you go down here to API. Now, I'm not too fussed about hiding my API key today. I was going to hide it, but I think for this, I'm not really not going to change it. Right. So we're going to go ahead and click this API, and then you've got a key over here. Right. So this is the key that you want to go ahead and copy. Right? I'm not super crazy about this, so it's fine. Right. So then what we're going to do is you want to make sure you copy that key. And then they've got example requests. Right. So you want to copy this key, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a file called Axios, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a file called Axios. So I'm going to close this out, open up my code editor, and I'm going to go ahead and create a file called axios.js, right? And then inside of Axios, I'm going to say import Axios from Axios, which means I now need to install Axios, right? Axios is essentially how, it's a very good library for when you're making requests, right? You don't actually need it, but it's really, really nice. It's a promise-based library for when you're making requests to a server across the internet, right? So in this case, we have our application. So imagine over here, this is from yesterday. We have our application. So this is our front end over here. So imagine we had our front end, right? and this is the Netflix app. So imagine our Netflix app is over here. Right, so this is Netflix. And then we've got TMDB at the back end. So imagine we've got the back end. So back end sort of over here. And this is gonna be a server. So imagine that this is a server right now. Love my drawings, guys. Come on, I'm an artist. This is amazing, right? So we have the front end and then we have this over here. Now here, I'm gonna have TMDB, right? And now how do we go and get some data from TMDB? Right, we go ahead and we make a request. Right, so this is basically the way we do this is TMDB provides something called an API. Right, and now you can go ahead and <laughs> once I finish this, I want to have a beer with Sunny Sanga, dude. I I'll take you up on that. I'll have a beer with you, man. Right, so we're gonna have a make a request over here. Right, now there are different types of requests. There are get requests, there are post requests, and all sorts of things like that. Right? But what the API essentially allows us to do, it allows us to have some kind of communication. What we're going to do is go ahead and basically say to the TMDB, give me some movies, right? Give me the movies, and the TMDB is going to say, yeah, yeah, sure, here you go. Like, here's, here's what you need, right? So that looks pretty, pretty good, right? And then, I mean, the drawing looks amazing. Come on, give me some credit, guys. It looks pretty all right, right? And then what we're going to do is, but remember, in order to use this API, Right, we actually need to use a secret key, right? So this is the key that we got inside of our account settings, right? So this will be like some kind of gibberish, right? So it's usually like some kind of gibberish, right? And we use that key to authenticate ourselves in those requests. And that way it knows that, okay, that request actually came from Sunny. Uh, it didn't come from, let's say, it didn't come from Ben or it didn't come from anyone else, right? Uh, 628 likes already, let's go, guys. 
Let's keep on going. This is amazing. Wow. I love the fact that not even a tech issue can break the Papa Farm. Right? We're going to go ahead and pull up the terminal. I'm going to open up a second terminal over here. And then I'm going to go and say yarn. And then I'm going to say add. And if you've got npm, you just do npm install, but I'm using yarn. I'm going to say yarn add, and I'm going to say axios. Right? And if you are using npm, you just say npm install axios. This will go ahead and install axios into the uh into the project right rookie says sub sunny is it going to be recorded yes dude it's all going to be recorded so you can feel free to remember there is homework for tomorrow and the homework is going to be essentially building everything that we build today and deploying the site with the deployment link right so uh we're gonna that's gonna be your homework for tomorrow right so it's a hackathon I'm telling you guys this is a hackathon right we're just gonna keep on going i'm telling you all right so Let's carry on. So we're gonna we've installed it right here. So that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and actually initialize Axios, right? So Axios has this really nice thing. So what we can do is we can say const instance, right? And we can say axios.create. And what this does is whenever we make a request, right, we can actually already append the beginning URL. So imagine rather than saying www.google.com every single time, and then I have forward slash and the search term, I can actually just add the google.com part into the instance of our Axios request. And then every time I basically make a request, it always goes from Google, right? So that's gonna really sort of be cool when, we, when we're doing this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say base URL, okay? So base URL, and it's all capitals here, so make sure you do get that right. Now, the base URL that we're going to use here is actually the TMDB URL, okay? So it's going to be this one right here. So you do need to copy this in the correct fashion. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the into J, and J is going to go ahead and share that against with you guys, okay? So that's the API that we're going to basically be connecting to. Now, once we go ahead and set that up, okay, we're going to say export default instance. Okay, so export default in, uh, instance, right? And this will allow us to use this outside of the. Uh, <laughs> some, somebody said, "Oh shoot, I got to do homework." The stream is one point. Yeah, guys, remember hackathon. Right? No messing around. Right? We're going to export this and allow this uh, outside. So thank you so much, Jay. Shared it in the chat. Nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our requests.js. So I'm going to create a file now called requests, right? And you're probably wondering, oh my God, so many files, but this is gonna allow us to fetch the information. So simple, right? So Vikram says it seems similar to the other build. Uh, this part is probably pretty similar if you've done the Netflix build before, but what we are gonna be adding to it is definitely worth the wait. So just be patient, dude, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and create a requests.js file, okay? I'm gonna do a plural, .js file, okay? And then what we're going to have over here is I'm going to have the API key. So firstly, I've got my API key, right? But typically what you would actually do is store this in a process, the environment, the API key. So we're going to go into these sort of hidden environment keys for now. But what you're going to do is basically pop your API key that you get from TMDB. So remember this key over here. You're going to copy it and pop it into a variable over here for now, all right? And again, it's completely fine just for the sake of a demo to have it like this, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make a request variable, okay? So somebody says, can we use your API key? Please, I mean, I wouldn't really, it'd be kind of annoying if I had to get a new one, but uh, no, get your own API key, <laughs> okay? Um, so there we go. And then here, basically, we're gonna add all the requests. Now, I've already actually gone and created these requests, and all you need to go ahead and do is basically copy this out as well, right? So these are all the different endpoints that TMD give us, that give us back the different genres of, uh, of what, we, what we expect, right? So over here, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see this uh, and drop this out, right? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna have uh, the following here. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste in here, right? So as you guys can see, let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So these are the different requests that will, can be made. And all it's doing is concatenating, right? It's concatenating the API key inside of the URL, right? And remember, because we already set up Axios to start with this request, essentially what it's doing is every time we make that request, it will basically go ahead and do something like this. It will say this forward slash trending. So it will go ahead and then add this into it. 
pop our API key into it. So I'm, for this sake, I'm just going to say ABC, and then it will go ahead and add that in, right? So that will be our final request that goes over to TMDB. So if I was to click this right now and open this in a browser, you can see it says that you have granted an a invalid API. Key. Oh yeah, because I've given ABC. But if I gave it this one, for example, and then I go in ahead and click this link, you guys will be able to see um, that it's uh, that that's invalid, but this is actually a correct key. So let me go ahead and pop this in here. And it's most likely the request that how I've written it that's most likely broken. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Save, right? So it's probably somewhere where I pasted it. But this is a definitely a correct key. Don't worry, guys, it works. Okay. So all you're gonna have to do at that point is go ahead, pop your API key, and then you guys can paste this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the chat right now for you all to go ahead and use. All right. So I'll pop that into J, and then you can go ahead and do that. All right. Um, so you can go ahead and use that inside the chat. In fact, I, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pass the const requests over here, right? Thank you, Halam. He says, you explain everything precise and to the point. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. But if you want, you can just pause the video here and write this out. So I'm going to save it, okay? The next thing we're going to do is export this request. So we're going to say export default requests. And this will allow us to essentially go ahead and pull these requests in afterwards. So we're going to hit save on that, and it works pretty nice, okay? So a few people are asking for this. Let me go ahead and actually uh, drop it to Jay and hopefully he can do that. So let me go ahead and say, uh, Jay, it's just going to be the second message that I've sent you. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, thank you. To, thanks to you. I switched from Angular to React. Oh, amazing stuff, dude. Um, there we go. So once you've got this up and running, what we're going to now do is let's go to our banner. All right. Let's go back to our banner. And let's go ahead and pull some nice information into it, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare a piece of state in our code. And the reason being is because I want to basically fetch a movie from that uh, TMDB database. And I want to basically store it and then use it over here to basically go ahead and have the, uh, oh, they seem to be set one by one. Oh, I see. Okay, there is a, a limitation, right? That's fine. That's completely fine. Um, you guys can go ahead and, and do that afterwards. That's fine. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and say const movie. So we're going to initialize a movie piece, of, a movie variable here, and we're going to, and it's going to use the use state hook, right? We're going to initialize that value with an empty array to begin with, okay? Um, so that looks pretty good, right? If anyone's experiencing any bit of blur or anything like that, feel free to go over on Twitch. Twitch is always a consistently perfect stream, so you guys can do that. Okay, so with that said, now what we can do is we're going to use a use effect to go ahead and fetch the movie information. All right, so we're going to say use effect, perfect, and then I'm going to go ahead and this takes a function that like we explained before. And remember, I only want to have an empty dependency array here, so that way it only fires off this code when the banner component mounts. Right, it only fires it off once. Thank you so much, Jeremy. He says great work, Sunny. Sandeep says how long will the session go on for? It's a uh, it's essentially going to be about, uh, I think in total, maybe two to three hours, but we're going to keep on going strong, okay? Uh, so the use effect here, and this is going to fetch the data. So this is going to be an async function, okay? So we're going to make an async call here, and then here we're going to say this is going to be a function called fetch data, right? And this is going to go ahead and res be responsible for fetching the movie that is going to show on the banner image over here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say const request equals await and then I'm going to use Axios, right? But be careful here, guys, because whenever you import Axios now, make sure you're not importing it from the global Axios, but instead our local Axios file, okay? So make sure it's the local Axios file. And then here what you're going to do is say await axios.get. And then you basically want to go ahead, import the requests that we had previously written, right? over here. So import the requests that were previously written over here. Guys, uh, whoever's sort of wondering about the um, requests, if you do need them, you guys can feel free to pause the video here. But remember guys, don't, you know, like don't focus on the sort of like copy and pasting of that. Maybe watch the video, follow it through and then do it afterwards yourself, right? It's going to be easier to do it that way rather than sort of, you know, rushing it and not really catching all the important stuff. So um yeah you can get rid of different file names do whatever you want to do guys that's completely fine and then you can say request dot and here i'm going to say you see how all of my requests came up right so i'm going to go ahead and get the netflix originals let's go ahead and do that one to begin with right and then what i'm going to say is set the movie right so this will go ahead 
make the request and a request will come back here, right? So I'm going to set the movie to the following, right? Um, so Martin actually went ahead and sent uh, the list of requests in the chat. Thank you so much, dude. So you guys can feel free to use that. Thank you so much. That's amazing, All right? So here we've got set movie. And then what I'm going to say is request.data.results. Okay, so request.data.results. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a random number. Okay, so what I'm actually going to say here is I'm going to copy this line of code. And what this line of code does is it basically says, okay, we want to basically generate a random number, right, which is going to be from zero all the way to the length of the results that come back. Okay, so we're going to generate a random number all the way from, so imagine there was like 100 videos that came back, a number between 0 to 100 is going to get dropped, right? It's going to get put in there, and then request.data.results is going to go ahead and set the movie to that movie, okay? So we can go ahead and check that this actually works. The way we can do it is we can say console.log movie, right? Go ahead, pull out the terminal, and at this point, what we can do is actually import our use effect, and guys, please don't use the API key while we're live right now, um, because that, that my, don't use my API key anyway, because it's going to probably go ahead and it might freeze things up. And we just don't want to do that while we're live because we're already facing some headache with that stuff. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fetch the data after, right? So we've made this internal function and here we're going to say fetch data like so. Okay. And after, because it's a request, it's always a good practice, even if you're not doing anything, to say return the request, all right? It's always a good way of doing it because it completely closes the promise chain. And now if I go ahead and refresh, you guys can see over here, look at that. It gave me the film, all right? So if I look, you can see this one is a monarch monarcha with a overview description. If I go ahead and refresh, it gave me a different film, which was Jurassic World, all right? So I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park. So uh, yeah, it works, right? 10 more likes to 700 likes. Go on, guys. Support the channel. Keep pushing this challenge. Set, we are nearly there. Come on, guys. These are absolutely incredible, right? Jurassic World, right? So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and use this information inside of the backdrop, okay? So let's go down to the actual movie. Uh, so where we're going to display the movie. So where we've got the background image down here, what we're going to go ahead and say is um, where we have the URL. I'm going to get rid of this for now, right? And what we actually have is T TMDB actually use a, like they have this default sort of starter for whenever we have, whenever we want to get a picture off of their site, okay? So here, I'm going to use this to begin with. So this is essentially something that you can just literally type in, which is which you need to type in, right? And it's going to be the beginning point for the request to get the correct image that we were after, right? So what we're going to do after that is I'm going to do some string interpolation. And inside of here, I'm going to say movie, right? So movie, and this is going to be an optional because remember the movie in the beginning isn't going to be defined. And then we're going to say it's actually going to be the backdrop path. Okay, so it's backdrop path. And the reason being, guys, is it's actually going to relate to this one. So you see the backdrop path is literally a string. Okay, so if I make that a bit bigger, it's literally just a string, right? It's a forward slash string. So we have to append it to the end of this, okay? So if I go ahead and do backdrop path, save. And now what you'll see is nice. Look at that, right? So that's awesome. Look at that. If we refresh, boom, we get a new image every time. That's pretty cool, right? Let me know if you guys found that cool and smash the thumbs up button if you did. Somebody let me know when we break 700. And uh, let's keep going strong, guys. All right, so that's absolutely incredible, looking really, really sweet. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and use the remainder of this information to populate the rest of the screen. All right. So for the title, there are different possibilities because the movies come back in different. Sometimes they have fields which resemble the title, and sometimes they, sometimes they have different fields um, uh, which which are kind of similar but they're, they're not there yet right so for movie name what we're going to do here is actually get rid of movie name i'm going to do my jsx and here i'm going to say it could either be the movie remember optional because it could be undefined movie title it could either be the movie name right or it could be the movie optional again original name 
right? So there's a few different variants that it could be, but we're saying, okay, use any of these, but in this precedent, right? So it's gonna use title first, if title doesn't exist, name first, and then if that doesn't exist, um, it's gonna use original name, right? So Lyrics now says, is the banner changing by itself? The reason being, dude, is because it, now it's making a request every time and generating a random number between one and the number of different films that came back from the request, okay? So now if I go ahead and do this, you guys can see if I save this point, if I save this bit that we just added here, if we save it now, you should see the movie name as well. So look, Stranger Things, there we go. If we do that again, Alice in Borderland, again, Stranger Things, Dark Desire, there we go, Elite, the mess you leave behind, right? It works perfectly, right? There we go. Uh, Aisha says we counted wrong. Four more, and we'll be at 700 likes. Incredible, guys, let's go. That's, that's so cool, man. Right, so now for this description, right? I don't want this long piece of text, right? I don't want that anymore. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, movie, optional, and it's gonna be the overview. That's what it comes back as. And the movie overview now, we should see that populate with the test description. So now you guys can see, look at that. Absolutely lovely. Look at that, work perfect. It changes as we go ahead and refresh. All right, and this is coming from the movie database. And look, looks really good. Looks really, really good, All right? Luke says, looks amazing. Thanks for your hard work and dedication. This is an amazing tutorial. Thank you so much, Luke. And I just wanna say, guys, I, I'm really sorry about the, the mic issues today, but we'll fix it tomorrow. And I might have to have just a Twitch chat tomorrow on the screen because I think that could be relating to it. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me properly today and, uh, and, and we keep on going strong, okay? So let's carry on strong, guys. Uh, so the, what we're gonna do now is build out the bottom bit. And remember that nice little trend, that little, nice little effect at the bottom. Look at that, guys. Look, it's right there at the bottom, right? And that's how you get that really nice fade that we talked about earlier, right? So if I go ahead and comment out the fade, you, you guys will be able to notice that on refresh, it now just looks completely clean, right? So look at that, right? It looks completely clean, which is not actually that nice, but if we add in that fade trick that I showed you, now when we refresh, we get this nice little subtle gradient, right? Which is awesome. It looks really, really good, okay? So the next thing that I wanna do is I actually want the back, right? I want the back of the, um, the, uh, the, the sort of the screen to be a, a nicer color, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into my app.css, okay? Um, Sandy, it's good to have music, yes, but for this build right now, because of the mic issues, we are not gonna have music. We're gonna type in app, right? And then what I'm gonna say is I'm simply gonna set the background color to black for the app, okay? So I'm gonna go here, change the background color to black for this app. All right, we go ahead and refresh. And then what I also need to do is I think I've done it inside of index.css. No, I haven't done it there. I think where have I done this one? I've done this inside of, let's have a double check quickly, guys. Home screen, okay, yeah. So right now it actually is at the back, but what we can say, is if I was to do, for example, height of 100 view height, I'll show you what happens, right? So you see the back is actually black right now, right? But right now we can leave it, like I don't wanna actually limit the height of this thing because I wanna be able to scroll afterwards. So I'm not gonna do this for now, but just to prove to you guys that it does change the back, then um, that's how we do it, okay? So let's go around. So Sohel, uh, we'll cover that stuff afterwards, don't worry, dude. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh, there we go, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and build the little panels that we see at the bottom, okay? So let's go ahead and build the rows. So let's go back to our home screen.js, okay? So now let's go back to our home screen. And here, we're gonna build the rows, okay? So rows are the fun part, right? So again, please stop spamming the chat, so uh, we will go ahead and build that stuff and we'll check that stuff out afterwards, right? So I'm not sure what the limit on the API is at the moment, guys, okay? But for the row, imagine what we're gonna have is we're just gonna have several different rows that get rendered out on the screen, right? And now each row is gonna take a few different props. Now props allow us to customize one component from another, right? That's what, that's what it allows us to do. So here, imagine a row is gonna have a title. So each row is gonna have a title and this one is gonna be Netflix Originals. Right, it's gonna have a fetch URL, let's call it that, fetch URL. And this one is gonna have, we need to import our requests and I'll show you what we're gonna do here. It's actually a neat little trick. We're gonna import the requests and then here, 
the one that this one is going to use is requests dot right and it says fetch netflix originals right so fetch netflix originals so let me go ahead and actually just copy the the, the correct end point there we go so request dot fetch netflix originals right so that's really clean awesome and then what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, a final prop which says if it's a large row or not right so you know it's on netflix you have loads of small rows and then you have massive row right so here what we're going to say this one is going to be is a large row right but the other ones aren't going to have this right but the large row is going to be a slightly bigger one okay now i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this for all the different genres so i'm going to go ahead and pop this in now so i've already got a snippet here and i'll go ahead and pause the screen there you go. So you guys can go ahead and definitely pause at this point, sort of copy this out if you need to. But basically what we're doing is we're having different rows here and each one has a different corresponding title and it's going to go ahead and actually get the corresponding, um, let me go ahead and there we go, requests. And we need to make sure we're in the correct folder and it says row is not defined, we'll fix that in just a sec. But now what we're gonna do is make sure that everything is looking nice and sweet, right? So this is good. So each one is gonna be fetching the corresponding genre of films okay and uh, if you guys are still got your energy high let me know in the chat right now let me know if you're concentrated and have a quick two second war break amazing All right <clears throat> let's go ahead and pop in on, I'm not sure if my chat is coming through here. Oh, Facebook, nice, I can see loads of stuff coming up. Oh, nice, I can actually see all the chat now. I can see Facebook, I can see Aaron, I can see Sam says I am, Jessica says uh, $5 donation, thank you so much, Jessica, amazing, appreciate that. All right, so Sammy says it's really fast still here, nice, awesome stuff, all right? So now what we're gonna do is, oh man, now I can see all the chats from everywhere, that's really cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and build the row component, right? So here I'm going to go ahead and create a row.js, okay? And then here we're going to say RFCE, right? Shoeb says, please give us a Git repo link. Uh, guys, if you want the code, there's a proper GitHub repo pack that you can definitely get, or you can join 0 to 4 stack hero as platinum or above. Um, but yeah, like that's what you're, if you want to get the code for that, you need to do it. Otherwise, you need to work for it, okay? So here we're going to say class name equals and then i'm going to say uh row okay and then we're going to say import and this is going to be row.css perfect All right and then we're going to go ahead and, and make a row.css file because we're going to make these look beautiful after All right nice perfect then we've got the row here okay so with the row looking fresh we're going to go ahead and refresh this and let's see for a sec still says row is not fine because we need to go ahead and import Let's go ahead and import at the top. There we go. Save. And then we've got this, right? So now if I go ahead, oh, nice. You got another one. Kalyan Raju, thank you so much. Guys, uh, whoever's a moderator in the chat, please go ahead and time him out. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate it, dude. All right, so we have a row there, right? So now with the row, what we're gonna do is we're basically, the row is probably gonna be the, it's pretty much the final piece of this puzzle, guys, okay? And then we're gonna actually get a, a nice little animation called flip move into this build as well, right? So how do we get this working and how do we get this thing looking perfect and as we want it, right? So the way we do this is we just need to go ahead and first thing we're gonna do is go down to our row and we're going to give it a title okay so we're going to give it a h2 and this one is going to have the title at the top so imagine here i'll just say this is a title okay and then we're going to save and refresh and let's see if it comes through so you see it says this is a title okay so there it is right um but what we're going to do is remember we passed in those props right we passed in these props title fetch url and is large row so what we need to go ahead and do now is go ahead and say for the h2 we need to say instead we're going to pass in the title prop and the way we get the title prop is we go whether this is where the props come in and we're going to go ahead and destructure this right and then we're going to go ahead and say title okay perfect nice right and 
Yeah, this is it. This is it, guys. Keep it positive in the chat, right? Otherwise, you're just going to get blocked. That's pretty much it, right? Um, so go ahead and, uh, and guys, anyone who's a moderator, David, go ahead and keep it clean. Thank you, dude. Right. So now you guys can see, like, it's black text behind it, but that's ex exactly pretty much where we have everything over here. So you see this, guys? We've got Netflix Originals trending now, top rated and all sorts. Right? They come through as a prop, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, actually map through. First thing we need to fetch the movies, right? We need to fetch the movies for each of these films. And how do we do that, right? The first thing we're going to do is go up to the top and we need to create a piece of state to keep track of the movies, right? So I'm going to actually destructure the props over here and I'm going to say fetch URL because that's the one that we had earlier. And I'm also going to say is large row, okay? So we actually get that in. Now, uh, Samuel, I think I can make you a moderator, but for some reason right now I can't because I don't have uh, YouTube open, but tomorrow I will, right? Is large row, and then here I'll say false, okay? So by default, it's false unless we get that prop passed into it, okay? So that's what I'm saying here, right? So um, at this point, we're going to create a variable which is going to carry the movies. It's going to contain all the movies, and here we say set movies, right? Then we say equals user state. And then here I'm going to pass in a empty array. Is I'm going to go ahead and say use effect, right? So use effect, right? Perfect. Oh, what was that? All right, use effect. And then here I'm going to go ahead and have an inline function. Perfect. And inside of here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that this, usually we only go ahead and have... I mean, the sound's good, right? The sound's back now. I can see it back now, I think. All right, I can see it goes back. All right. Um, I think we're good now, right? Uh, everyone's saying sound. Okay, it's back. Yeah, cool. Let's carry on. So the dependency here is called the fetch URL. Fetch URL, okay? And then over here, what we're going to do, yeah, the AirPods must have disconnected for just a sec. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is go to the fetch. So use effect is at the top over here. And I'm going to basically make an async function. Right? So async function called fetch data. Right? It's going to be a function. And this is going to go ahead and do the following. It's going to say it's going to do a conf request. So we're familiar with this by now. And then we're going to say await Axios. Now remember when we're using Axios, we don't use our the uh, global Axios. We use our local Axios. So it'll be import Axios from our local Axios, okay? Um, and then it was the other mic, I think. No, 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 it wasn't the, the other mic. It, it jumped over to the uh, laptop. That's why, right? So uh, we're going to do await Axios.get, right? And then here, remember we passed in the different URLs as a prop, right? So we're going to say get the fetch URL. Right, and then what we're going to say, simply put, after this, we're going to go ahead and do set the movies to request.data.results. Okay, request.data.results. And then remember, with any promise or any sort of uh, async, we should always return something. Okay, so that's perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and execute our function. Okay, save. Looks good, right? So uh, we're going to go, go ahead and import the use effect. There we go. Perfect. Everything's working. And uh, yeah, we have literally had a few issues today, but we're getting through it. Okay. We're getting through it, guys. And I'm not sure how many likes are out right now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be strong. All right. Uh, the goal is going to be to hit 1,000. Mevon's in the house. What's up? Uh, why return the request? It's always just to make sure that if you are running a function, it's going to cut that out and it's going to handle things. Right. We're at 686. Right, Mehrbahn's gonna be here when we hit 700, it's amazing, right? So let's go ahead and refresh. And now what you can see is this will go ahead and give us the movies as a result, right? So if I go ahead and console log the movies at this point, what we should be able to see if I go ahead and open the inspector, you guys can see, look, we've got an array of 20 things. Okay, so there's 20 different things here. Let me go ahead and make that a bit bigger. And you guys can see inside here, you've got those movies that we saw before. So same thing, but it's gonna be different ones. And you can see there's all sorts of ones for the different genres, right? So go ahead and keep sharing this video, guys. We're gonna hit 1,000 soon, okay? Let's keep on going, right? So now we've got the movies that pop in. So now we need to use that information from the movies to populate 
what how and we want the look and feel to be okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and render the posters okay so we're going to render out each of the posters now here we have the h2 and then what i'm going to be doing is simply going ahead and saying movies dot map okay movies dot map and i'm going to say for every single movie right so we're going to iterate through the movies and i'm just going to go ahead and return something right so i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and return an image right now the image is going to be the different films that you're going to see right and what we're going to have here let me go ahead and make this even again so you guys can see thank you so much for the um uh, for the 20 rupee donation, Kalyan says, any reason to add dependency for this user effect? Yes, because we're dependent on a prop, right? So anytime you're dependent on a variable outside of the user effect, you want to make sure that you use, you put that inside the dependency array because now the user effect is going to be dependent on that variable, okay? So quick water break, guys. Thank you so much for staying strong today. Let's keep on going. And just in case you need to sign out at any point, your homework for today is going to be to get the, to the point that we finish on today. Right? So that's going to be your homework for tomorrow. This is a hackathon, right? This is literally going to be a hackathon, right? So let's go ahead and we're going to get rid of the console log right now. 694 likes, let's go, guys. Almost at 700. All right, so for the image source, now what we're going to do is Future Code says, I'm building a simultaneously converted style compost. Nice, that's incredible. Thank you, Elizabeth. That's really, really cool. Right. So now what we're going to say for the image, we're going to go ahead, pass in for the source. We're going to interpolate. Right. And now there is a base URL. Right. So Melvin hasn't actually liked the video yet, she says. That's great. All right. So now we're going to go to the top and there is actually a base URL for the image. Remember before we previously used one. Right. So now we're going to go ahead and say const base underscore URL equals and I'm going to go ahead and drop in the uh, URL. So you guys, again, you would have recognized this from before um, where we used it inside of the banner. But here we're going to be using it as such like this. Okay. 699 likes. Did we break it? Hey, there we go, guys. Thank you. This is why I need my music. This is why usually I drop some beat and it goes crazy. Uh, but guys, you see, this is the power of the Papa Fan, man. Honestly, insane stuff. We broke 700. I just want to say thank you. And firstly, guys, if you're watching as well, remember, share this on your Instagram stories for those extra points inside this tournament. And let's keep on going strong, okay? We're not going to let the tech issues break us today. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so we have the base URL over here. And uh, <laughs> Ben says you can sing to us. Uh, I will, dude, if we hit 2,000 likes in this video. <laughs> See? Set the goal high, you know? All right, so if we have the... Um, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the image source, right? Now here, we're going to go ahead and say base URL, right? So I'm going to pop in the base URL. And then next to the base URL, I'm simply going to go ahead and say, if it was a large row, right? So there's two different things here now, right? So I'm going to go ahead and follow this very carefully. We say, if it's a large row, then I'm going to use the movie dot poster part right and there's a reason being because there's two different images that come back in the request we're going to use the poster part if it's a big row and if it's a small one we're going to do movie oops sorry we're going to say movie this is called a ternary operator we're going to say movie oops oh my god movie dot backdrop path backdrop path uh yeah perfect nice and then we're going to go ahead and hit save right and the alternative name here just to make it a little bit seo friendly is the movie name okay and then we're going to hit save right now let's go ahead and refresh and see what happens on our code so look at that guys you can see loads of films but i mean it's not ideal is it all right melbourne just donated eight pounds thank you sir nice look at that guys you donated eight pounds you're gonna buy the hashtag fancy dinner very soon nice I was sunny anyway for the other day. Oh, yeah, that's silly. All right, so now you have the pictures coming up, but it doesn't look ideally as we want. But the good news is look at the nav bar, guys. The nav bar is looking perfect. All right, look at that. Amazing stuff, right? Look, it looks really nice at the top, all right? Really nice, but it kind of broke our app, right? Everything looks wrong at this point. 
So now what I'm going to do is where we have, you can see it's got Netflix originals. We're just going to style this up a bit right now so it doesn't mess up and break everything, right? I'm going to get this a little bit neater and how it looks. So the way we do this now is we're going to give this image a class name, okay? The way we do that is we say image, class name, and then here we're going to go ahead and do some interpolation, which is why I've got this. I'm going to say row poster, right? So the image is going to be a poster, but I'm also going to give it an additional class if it was for a large row. So I'm going to say is large row, right? Is large row. And then here we're going to say and, and, and I'm going to say row underscore poster large, right? So I'm going to apply this class if we pass in that prop, okay? Now, there are a few good practices we should do. Every time we're rendering out a bunch of things, we should always pass in a key. In this case, it's going to be the movie ID, right? So movie ID, so it does come back with an ID and we're going to use it to make everything sort of clean at this point, right? So we're gonna save at this point and we're gonna start styling it because this is getting painful to look at, right? Samit, thank you so much. He goes $5 for the Starbucks. Thank you, dude, because I actually ordered a Starbucks this morning. <laughs> and everyone got a bit angry about it. All right, so there we go, nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the row.css and I'm gonna pull this underneath over here, okay? So good stuff, guys, let's keep on going. And I think we will break that 800 soon. All right, let's go. Nice. Thank you so much, Samit. Appreciate that, dude. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to our row.css and I'm going to start styling, right? Let's go ahead and make this really nice. First thing is that text is impossible to see. So I'm going to go over to our row and I'm going to change the color to white, okay? There we go. And then you see the text changed to white. So now we can see Netflix originals on the right has gone to white. All right, I'm going to change the margin left to be 20 pixels, okay? And you can see it pops over to the left a little bit, right? Now the next thing that we're gonna do is go over to our poster itself, okay? So the poster itself. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna change the width a little bit, right? So there's a few things I actually wanna do before this. I'm gonna surround this entire thing inside of a div, right? So inside of a div, and this div is gonna have the row posters class, okay? Thank you so much for the kind words, guys. Really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop your comments on the screen. This is really, really nice. Thank you so much, honestly. This is amazing stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this in. And guys, remember, don't entice the negativity. We're still going so damn strong. Let's keep going, guys. All right, so save. And then now we're inside of row posters, okay? So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and target row posters, okay? So row posters, like so. And then here I'll say display flex. All right, so display flex, and I'm gonna say, uh, and then there we go, okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna say overflow Y should be hidden, right? So overflow Y should be hidden, and I'm gonna say overflow X, so when we scroll in the horizontal direction, I want that to be a scrollable, right? So it's gonna be scroll, okay? All right, nice. <laughs> Caroline says, Sonny, I have to go for the Liverpool match, but I promise I'll finish it when the video is up fully. Dude, I want to see you there for, the next, uh, for tomorrow, right? So make sure you submit that homework and I will enjoy the match. All right, nice. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and say, thank you so much, David. Appreciate David always comes in with a nice stuff. Thanks, Sonny. Free education, encouragement, so many in this community and beyond. So many need this wealth of knowledge right now. Thanks for your heart. Keep it going, bro. Thank you so much, guys. And Sumit getting involved in that football. Thank you, David. Honestly, appreciate that, man. Um, so here I say padding of 20 pixels. And let's go ahead and just fix this uh, poster because it's driving me crazy right now, all right? So for the poster, I'm going to go ahead and target the poster. So we're going to say row poster because right now we can't actually see anything that's happening, right? Row poster. And then here what I'll say is let's set a max height, right? A max height of... Uh, 100 pixels okay so 100 pixels and then look at that guys boom immediately jumped in there right so it jumped straight back in there and let me change this back to 100 percent. and you guys can see look at that it's already starting to look pretty good right we've got look how one line of code right one line of code changed the entire game right geo still thank you so much for the kind words man right so here you can see look everything looks pretty damn nice when we see that right so a few things we want to do is I don't want that scroll bar. So how do I hide the scroll bar? Well, we have row posters over here. And what I'm going to actually do is add an additional line of code underneath. 
which is going to target row posters, but with a modifier. So it's going to be targeting WebKit scroll bar. I'm just going to simply do display none. So I need to go ahead and pop in this magic line of code and it gets rid of the scroll bar, right? So that's how Shubham we can remove the scroll bar because I just saw you asked it in the perfect time and I went ahead and answered it. Okay, so now what you can see is that we have this scrollable functionality, everything's really nice. And we have the stuff over here, which is looking really, really good guys, right? This is actually looking really, really clean. Okay, so with that said now, what we're gonna do is submit this hats off for the dedication to the determination of people in Asia watching this video. These efforts are worth it and it'll take you a long one speaking from my personal experience. Exactly, keep going guys, honestly, keep on going. This will change your life, really will. And that's why we don't mess around with it. We really do want to start changing lives. Um, and we have been. People have got jobs from this, guys. It's insane, including Samit, right? So uh, now we're going to go ahead and add object fit contain because I always want to keep the aspect ratio the same. And then I'm also going to go ahead and say, oh, JD, thank you so much, guys. Hey, appreciate that, dude. Nice 100 rupee donation. All right. So now what I'm going to do is we've got object fit contain. And then I'm gonna say margin right. So right now everything is touching each other, right? So I'm gonna add a margin right of, let's do 10 pixels. Okay, so 10 pixels. And then you can see it bumps it to slightly to the side. So we get that little spacing, right? So we can still scroll through it, but it gives it that nice bit of spacing, right? So that's what we wanted. Uh, so that looks really, really clean at this point, right? So everything looks, everything's actually looking pretty good at this point, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say a width of 100% and I'm gonna do transition transform and I'll show you why transition transform 450 milliseconds and I'll show you why we do that in just a second okay so we actually have a nice little trick up our sleeve for what we're about to do all right so the next thing I want to do is for the poster larger the large posters right we actually want to make it so that we have oh Samit says I actually used the Netflix clone in my interview that's incredible dude see it's real guys this is real stuff that's actually going to help people land jobs honestly it's crazy stuff all right so now um as, as doc says i'm going to watch this later but leaving a like as always and telling you what you're doing is awesome bro father figure for many future devs thank you so much dude appreciate the kind words thank you man all right so now we're going to say row poster hover okay so i'm going to go here and say row poster hover so when we hover over this I want to do a nice little trick, right? I'm going to say transform scale, and I'm only going to apply an 8% scale. So I'm going to do 1.08, right? And I'm going to say the opacity is 1, right? Now I'll show you why. Uh, I think we might actually get rid of that afterwards, but that's fine. The opacity of 1, right? So for the poster now, if we hover over, you guys can see, look, look at that. We get a nice little hover effect now, right? So when I hover over the images, boom. Right, looks really good. As I said, I got an internship because of the Netflix one. Amazing, dude. Amazing. All right. Fahad says your accent is adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, slick, nice. So you're looking really, really good, guys. All right. So that's looking clean and it looks really nice. Now the next thing we want to do is actually add the styles for the roll poster large. Okay. So I'm going to add the max height for that one to be 250. So now you can see. Look at that one. It's a little bit bigger for the roll large, right? So, so for the extra large one. Okay, so there we go. That's a bit nice to see for you guys. So now you guys can see, look at that, right? Clean, 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 right? Now you guys can see that we actually want to apply a slightly different style for the larger one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform it and scale it to 1.09. So it's going to be a 9% scale, okay? So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to hide the scroll bar in just a sec, dude. So let's go ahead and do this, save. And now if we refresh, check it out guys, look at that. We get a nice little bit of a bigger scale on this one. So it's slightly bigger, just by a percent, right? A slightly bigger scaling effect, right? So if you wanna get the hide scroll bar, you just simply go ahead and add this in guys. You add the WebKit scroll bar um, addition to your selector and you just say display none to the scroll bar and it'll go ahead and hide the scroll bar for you, okay? So now if we go ahead and full screen this, look at this guys, I mean like how crazy is that? Right, like we effortlessly just kind of kind of built this out, right? Which is absolutely amazing, right? So look how nice and clean this looks at the moment, right? So this is looking really, really good. I think everything's pretty much in place at this point, right? So um, this place needs music when I'm building tomorrow. I play music, yeah. I definitely will try and fix those issues for you guys in tomorrow's build. But you can see, look, so you might get a dead link, 
Okay, so we need to fix the dead links, right? So the, to, to, to fix any sort of dead link that might come up, the way we're, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add a conditional so that it only renders that poster if there are certain things that are met, okay? So before we render it, what I'm actually gonna add, I'm gonna add in a few little checks. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop in the following check. The first check I wanna say, if it's a large movie and, and if the poster path exists, Okay, so only render it if this exists, okay? Or if it's not a large row and if the backdrop path is present, okay? So these are the things that I'm using to render the actual image, okay? But if none of those are present and that's what we're using to render the image and I don't wanna render it if it's not present, okay? So this is how we add a conditional. And then what I do is I grab the image and I simply push it inside of here. Okay, so you guys can obviously take a second to look at that and see what's happening. But what that will prevent is any form of dead link coming in. So now we should not see any dead links inside of our web page. Okay, so you can see there's no dead link inside of the web page anymore, right? There's no more of those, you know, where it's a broken image tag, right? And this apply, this was applied for both. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. What happened there? Okay, so... For the Netflix, for the large, we broke something. Let's have a look at why that happened. Um, but, 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 let's have a look. So we've got this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly change something. We've got the base URL, backdrop, movie path, and let's just double check what I changed there to make that happen, All right? So we've got this, and backdrop path, and post up path, is large row. Um, okay, so let me just go ahead and remove this for one second. I just want to see if I if it was that little change that I just broke that. Okay, yes, it was that change I broke that. So what we actually need to do is uh, is wrap everything in parentheses before we do it. Okay, so where we have this in place, I'm just going to go ahead and pop in a bit of code um, where I have this entire block. So I'm going to go ahead and replace my image with the following. We don't use the ref yet. We don't actually handle the click yet and uh, we don't need anything else. Save, and let's just double check that we're all good. Perfect, okay, so you guys can go ahead and use that as reference to compare against, right? So you can make sure that you're at this point and that every, uh, everything is working as it should, okay? So at this point, guys, this is pulling from TMDB, right? So we're actually pulling from TMDB live movie information, right? So live movie information, we've got this beautiful hovering effect all of our videos are here to stay and play and everything is looking really clean, right? And today, what I think we should do on that note, because we've already got a nice little challenge here, right? We've got the nice little nav bar at the top, right? We've got the nav bar at the top and it disappears. Like, look how clean that is, right? As it goes down, it just nicely, just gradually disappears in. So let's go ahead and check, show you that again. Look at that, it just nicely drops in, right? So. All of these things look really beautiful and really nice and play nice, okay? So what we wanna do now is make sure that you guys can reach this point. So that is going to be your homework, right, for tomorrow. And we, I want you guys to essentially go ahead and reach this point in the build, right? This is essentially the front end portion of the build, right? And this is basically gonna be what, what you need to do tomorrow, right? So you need to get all of this done tomorrow, right, by tomorrow, and submit it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how, um, Sonny, can we put the name of the movie below the poster? Sure, guys, make feel free at this point to make additions to this app, right? Make additions, add things to it, change it up a bit, and I'm gonna highlight the people who do that because it will be so cool to see who actually goes ahead and takes that a little bit step further, adds their own little jazz to it, right? So guys, what I want you to do, let's go ahead and reiterate, right? Your homework for tomorrow is to get to this point, right? You need to get the app up and running. You need to build the following components, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just very briefly inside of home screen. You need to build your home screen components so that it looks like this, right? So your home screen component should be very clean. It should have a nav, a banner, and the following rows, right? So it should be very, very clean. Now, this is gonna be very important for tomorrow, okay? Because everything is gonna start getting a bit more complicated in the sense of, not complicated, we're gonna break it down. You know what I mean, guys. I'm always gonna keep it simple for you. But we're gonna go ahead and break it down. And then we're gonna add in login functionality. We're gonna create a payment plan screen. And then we're also gonna be adding in 
the checkout process where you can actually process a membership payment with Stripe, okay? So if you guys, to go ahead and just right now drop the comments in the uh, comment, drop a comment in the description and go ahead and let me know how the build went for you, right? Now, there is a, uh, a feature in the old build where you can click it and, and it will open up a trailer, but for this build, what we're actually gonna do is we're not actually gonna implement the trailer functionality. Reason being is because it doesn't actually always load, right? So what I would recommend is if you, I'm gonna leave that as a challenge feature for you, and I will put bonus points out there, right? If you implement a trailer functionality where if you click the build, if you click the poster and it opens up a little pop-up with a trailer, that's gonna be your challenge for tomorrow, okay? That's gonna be your challenge. Go ahead, 720 likes. Thank you guys, that's incredible, right? So let's go ahead and deploy this app, right? So, cause you guys are gonna need to deploy it and then share your link. So how the hell do we deploy this app, Sunny? I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Don't worry guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go into our terminal, right? So many people are saying, thank you so much guys. Incredible, honestly, your energy. And I just wanna say thank you for sticking it out even past the tech issues. I'm gonna to work tonight to make sure that they don't happen again. But we're gonna keep going strong, okay? So right now I'm gonna do Command J, pull up my terminal, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the following. So I'm gonna basically say uh, over here, so let's make this very big for you guys so you guys can see it all actually, all right? So I'm gonna make this a full screen for now. So we're gonna go ahead and do the deployment stage right now in case anyone's wondering, okay? So here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna say, Firebase login. That's the first step that you need to do, Firebase login. Now, I am already logged in. If, I, if it says to you that Firebase is not a recognized command, then remember the step in the beginning where you had to install the Firebase CLI tools. You're going to have to do that, okay? So you're going to have to do that. But now what you have to do is Firebase login, and it will pop up a little pop-up if you're not logged in. But for now, all you need to do is do this. And then what you're going to do is Firebase init, okay? So Firebase init. Once you do Firebase init, you'll get this beautiful little looking terminal UI. I don't know how long it took somebody to build that, but it's pretty cool. And then you're gonna go down to hosting, okay? Click on the hosting folder, so spacebar on the hosting, and then you wanna go ahead and hit enter, right? Then here you've got a few different options. We're gonna click on use an existing project, okay? We're gonna hit enter on that, and then I've got a few different ones, right? I've got Netflix clone, Netflix clone YouTube, and the one that I'm doing today was Netflix clone YouTube, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on the Netflix clone YouTube. Then we've got, what do you wanna use as your public directory, okay? So here, what we're gonna say is, and again, guys, I am reading your comments. Thank you so much. This is really incredible. Thank you so much, guys, All right? So I wanna go ahead and say the public directory here is build, Okay, so very important that you write build here, okay? So make sure that you do not mess that one up. Write build in that section. And then here, configure it as a single page app. Yes, it's a Y for yes, right? We're gonna go ahead and enter. Set up automatic builds and deploys with GitHub. No, we don't wanna do that yet, okay? And then we go ahead and initialize the app. Now the next step is basically, we need to go ahead, take our app that we just built, bundle it up, and then deploy it on the web. So we already did Firebase and Net, which basically goes ahead and sets up the connection to Firebase, right? So now Firebase knows about us and what we're about to do. And basically what we need to do is we've got this beautiful React app that we just created, right? Which is this Netflix app over here. We need to bundle it up right now and then just literally send it to Firebase and say, here, put it inside and on the web, right? So what we need to do now is say npm, right? Run build, okay? npm run build. Right, and this will go ahead and it will build our app. And now when we do npm run build, what it does is it creates an optimized production build. Now what is an optimized production build? It essentially goes ahead and strips out all the things that we don't need inside the final product, right? Inside the final website. So it makes it very quick, very sort of quick and helpful, okay? Um, this is gonna be uploaded on YouTube. So yes, you guys can use this as reference for tomorrow's homework, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and say, once you've done this, remember, once you've actually gone ahead and done NPM run build, if you change any file or folder, you have to do NPM run build again, okay? NPM run build again is crucial after that, otherwise it doesn't get the latest sort of update, right? So what this would have done is it would have actually gone ahead and created this build folder for you. Right, so you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here, right? A bunch of cool stuff that goes into the build folder. You don't actually touch this folder by yourself, okay? You don't actually mess around with that, right? Command B to hide. 
The next step we're going to do is Firebase deploy. Right? Now remember, you have to do npm run build and make sure it goes into the build folder because the build folder is what we specified in the Firebase init. Okay? Firebase deploy. You guys ready to deploy? Let's do this, right? Let's go ahead and deploy. And if you haven't already, smash the thumbs up button because we have gone through tech issues. We have done so many things. We conquered the mic that kept breaking and we are still here and we're about to deploy this app, okay? Let's go forward and let's deploy this thing. Let's go ahead and say Firebase deploy. Look at the lovely bit of energy that everyone's dropping in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Let's do this, guys. All right, <laughs> so funny. Guys, oh man, go ahead and uh, uh, and time out that guy, dude. All right, so we got Jessica Groves, we got, that's it, nice. So I went ahead and deployed the app, guys. So let's go ahead and check if this app works, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Netflix URL, so the hosting URL, click on open, and let's see, guys. Look at that, we are now live, All right? So it's gonna go ahead and load it up for the first time. So let's go ahead and refresh, and let's see, look at that. It's loading the images. Everything's pulled in, perfect, it's working, right? So what we can do at this point is you guys can feel free to go ahead and uh, check out that URL. I'm not gonna drop it in the chat because it's gonna mess everything up, right? But you guys can go ahead and deploy it. Now, what do you have to do for tomorrow, right? So there's a 7,000 pound prize pool, right? And remember guys, we've covered so much in today's build and we've done it really, actually pretty quick, right? So we actually went ahead and built this beautiful nav bar at the top. We have this amazing banner with this really subtle, gradient that transitions into the bottom and we have these nice poster effects and all of this stuff right your homework for tomorrow guys is simple get to this point right get to this point deploy the app and then you'll get that magic little url check that you can actually visit the website and then the first link in the description will take you to day two homework okay so i'm gonna pull up day two homework now right what you need to do is go ahead and get to the day two homework screen. This will take you to the following screen, okay? So once you get to day two homework screen, you need to go ahead and see this, all right? So, uh, <laughs> so some of that, I think the normal one was about, right? So now you're gonna get to this screen, right? So once you're over here, make sure you have followed all five steps, so I can't stress enough. If you don't follow these steps, I can't tell your points, I can't tell you where you're at in the challenge. So remember, you have to register to the challenge, you need to go ahead and register for the final surprise last day. Guys, honestly, I can't stress enough that this is a big final day. Honestly, it's gonna be really, really important. And the link is here to go ahead and register. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. Check this out, right? So all you need to do is go over to this event and simply register and click the save my spot button, okay? So that goes live in three days where I announce the winners and I announce all of the sort of special goodies and bonuses that I'm gonna be dropping that everyone will get if you're a part of that event. Okay, so if you're part of that event, you're gonna get some amazing stuff, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and see you and join the Facebook group. Make sure you definitely are a part of the Facebook group. Join the official Papa Fam on Discord and that will help you out with any sort of issues that you're having. You can have a chat with people. And then yeah, you need to go ahead, enter your full name, your email, and the deployed site link, okay? So the deployed site link is simply the Netflix URL that you'll have at the top of the screen once you've deployed to Firebase. Guys, it's that simple, right? Make sure you register for the event on day five because that's where we announce all the winners. And as always, just like yesterday, submit the homework, guys. It's been an amazing, amazing build today. I know we faced some tech issues, but guys, the Papa Farm just doesn't give up. I think, I'm not sure, where are we at with the likes, guys? I'm not sure where we're at with the likes today, but uh, we have so many people watching. And guys, show up tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, and it's going to be absolutely huge for what we're about to do, right? So today we built the Netflix front end build, and what we're gonna be doing in days, uh, three, yeah, days three and four, day, day three tomorrow, we're actually gonna be adding to this build and we're gonna be adding the login functionality and the My Profile screen, all right? So we're gonna be adding full user authentication with Redux, right? So we set this up with Redux and uh, yeah, we are 300 subs up from yesterday. That's incredible. Guys, like you're part of the movement. Are you part of the movement right now? And it's incredible, right? Honestly, absolutely crazy to see this, right? So it's gonna be crazy, crazy stuff. 
and uh, I'll try and play the outro music. I'm not sure if it'll work, but like I'm, I'm going to see how that happens. Um, but yeah, guys, absolutely incredible stuff. And um, I think we're going to get to 20K very, very soon. And I just want to say, guys, yeah, if you get stuck on anything, you ever reach any points of trouble, the Facebook group is there to help you out. We're helping each other out. But remember, once you submit that homework, screenshot proof, post it in the Facebook chat. That's what you need to do to get the points. Submit it to the homework channel, well, so the homework um, uh, link, and then you want to go ahead and screenshot just like you did for the day one homework. We had 450 submissions for the day one homework. How many of you guys are going to make it to this point? Because this is what's going to push you to go to that next level and succeed as a developer, guys. It's been an amazing session. I just want to say, this is your boy, Papa React. And tomorrow we are back to add in that login functionality, my profile page. And then the day after, all the payment juicy stuff is coming, right? So absolutely in crazy stuff. And yeah, if, you, if you've helped people out, so I'm just answering a few questions now. If you've helped anyone out in the challenge, again, literally go ahead and just, I'm watching that, right? So that, those points are actually quite manual. So we go ahead and we go and check everything. So trust me, me and Jay are working nonstop. We're making sure it happens. And uh, yeah, we're gonna absolutely crush you guys. The Papa fam is here to stay. And we are done for today, okay? So you guys can take a breather. And when you're ready, you can go ahead, do the homework at your own pace. And guys, use the Facebook community to go ahead and help you out, right? So just to, I'm gonna wrap up one second right now. For the homework on the Facebook, we need to go ahead and I will update that link right now and we can go ahead and make sure that you can submit the homework on Facebook. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and update, update those links. But right now in the description on YouTube, you should see the link to the day to homework, right? If it's not there, we'll go ahead and update it and we'll make sure everything's perfect. But guys, until tomorrow, I will see you then. Have a short break and then get to it, right? Hackathon time, guys. Five day challenge. I'll see you in tomorrow's build. This is your boy, Papa React. And I'll see you in the next video peace guys it's so usually it's where i have the music and everything's good but instead i'm just going to read the comments and have some water right and we keep the spirit alive inside of us see you tomorrow guys amazing session let's go